So, I mean, you subscribe to early fans, so I, I, don't, I don't know what... You know, yeah, because Rachel has a fat ass. Continue. Uh, that's getting clipped. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no one clipped that. No one clipped no. that. You have 12 black people in Latvia. If you're an orphan, you're starving, if... Stuff was done to you. Okay, I'll put any for all black people in Latvia. I don't approve of Abdullahi say that people should be hanged. I think that's a bit too too far. <laughs> but <laughs> Obama black bat. Um kill on Papa. Uh, drop another that's a break. That's a break. <laughs> One second. Again, it, it, the actual draw happened and saw it's actually United versus Coventry. It's Chelsea versus Man City. Hopefully I'm good. Hopefully I'm good. Hopefully the audio isn't crazy. The audio hey, isn't hey, mad. Your mic works. Hey, thank you. Thankfully my mic worked there. So guys, it's going to be a very, very interesting one, guys. Let me just let me take a sip. Hot chocolate, by the way. It is. You're dressed like PDD. What's going on, bro? Gatlock, do you want to... Gatlock, do you want to get a yellow? Like, Ricardo How almost, got, it, Ricardo <laughs> almost <laughs> got a yellow before we went on How stream. Do you want to get a yellow right now? I didn't say that. No, that no, 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 sorry, sorry, um, Barry, 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 Barry. Wait, you what know. the heck? Yeah, right. <laughs> so, my, so, 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 guys, my thing here is, guys, it, it gets real right now. So, guys, we're going to talk about Leverkusen, Jabi Alonso, Germany, and for some reason, La Masia hasn't made the, the, the stream. Very funny. And we're going to just talk about what it means and what Leverkusen has achieved, which I think, which for me, it's just joy. Because we have to have a very serious Jabi Alonso did this discussion. Then after that, our dear friend takes center stage, man. Our dear friend takes center... Oh, what the heck? Oh, our, dear <laughs> our dear friend takes, takes center stage. I'm sorry. Your dog ain't it's going to comfort you, bro. Your dog ain't going to comfort you in this world. What are they called again, ain't it? Emotional oh, support no. puppy. Emotional, emotional support animal. Emotional oh, wow. Well, yeah, emotional support. So those emotional supports... Even guide dogs ain't gonna help you here, bro. So we're gonna have a discussion and talk about um, the madness that, of course, was Klopp Liverpool. And what's what happened? What has happened to the Klopp Disney narrative? And that is a very nice segue into: Is Pep going to fully make this the Farmers League, or is some? Is there another twist of the tale, or is it already over? Is Stanis gonna say what's hold up? On. I know, I know. Hold on, I know. We wait, wait, wait. wait. We hold on, hold on. We'll be there. On. Hold on, we'll be there. And also on the last thing, and then UCL preview. Then we're gonna go to do the Champions League user preview for the huge, massive second leg. So, guys, as always, yeah, remember. Making a comeback, and Bobby's making a comeback. Shut up. So, as always, remember, guys, all this hangout is gonna be available on Spotify, Apple, and Google. So, remember, you can listen to this hangout on Spotify, Apple, and Google. It will probably go down tonight or probably a little more. So, for your listening, pleasure, man. So, guys, you know what it is. Like that vid, subscribe if you're new, and as long as you're not half up snow bunnies. As long as you're not Daddy Oos, feel free to send in a dub or super chat and give it to Hero. Feel free. We we, we we miss your jokes. Just I don't want to hear from Daddy Oos or that prick, half of snow bunnies, or that loser, um, English talent FC. So without further ado, let's 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 hit the stream marker right now. Um guys, today was a great day. Today today was a great day. Dory, Dory, um, Elijah, your 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 cooking is gonna come very soon. Today was oh, no, a great no, no, day. No, 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 no. H H H H. I I I H H. Today, if 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 certain things didn't happen, I wanted to cook. You know, I brought I had I brought some uh uh uh, uh what you want to call it um some bratwurst, some sauerkraut. You know, I ha I have some bread. Any, any eba panadium? I'm a last starch. No, we're eating we're eating German food today. We're eating German. Okay, all right. Frankfurters, baby. Yeah. Frankfurters, yeah. pause. Frankfurters, pause. Yeah, pause. Here's the thing. Pause. So here's so here's <laughs> here's the so now, guys. This you know, this this was a great day. This was a great, amazing day for football because I thought we'd never see this day. 
I thought I would never see this day, bro. Um, and I've got to shout out, yeah, man, football, football won today, man. Football won today. Now, look, this goes back to the thing that Ricardo said, like, so months, so months ago, which I think is, is cap and crap, and I don't care whether, oh, if we look back, we will admire the domination that Ban had of 11 years. I'm like, 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 I'm like get, that, get that trash out of here, bro. We don't, we don't, we don't care about that. We care about football. Because football what? won to today. <laughs> okay, we get football won today. And for Leverkusen, it's an amazing achievement. And guys, we have to take stock of what Jabi Alonso has, has done. Jabi Alonso is a rookie coach. In his first full season, remember, this is his first full season. His first full season, you know this young child is still unbeaten. You know this young child can still win two trophies, two more trophies. Are you do calling him a young child? Do you realize that Leverkusen have never won a major title in the history? This is the first time they've won a major title, and this is the first time they've ever won the Bundesliga. Like, it is very hard to put into words what this guy has achieved against a team that has completely and totally colonized German football. It's amazing. And... I'm even going to probably do like much more of a video about this, like probably tomorrow for COVID. But this is great for German football. Now, if you're a if you're a Bayern fan, you should be happy. Even if you're a Bayern fan, you should be happy because this is great for German football. Because I think the the best thing that happens to German football is not only Leverkusen winning, but different teams winning this this league, and the dominance and the monopoly of of Bayern ending. Because what that does. It attracts people to what I think is a very entertaining league. Because we're gonna to get to the Premier League. We're gonna to take to the EPL because the Premier League is gonna is gonna get cooked. So as the Premier League now enters into farming territory, the Bundesliga may enter into parity territory, which I think just think is great and I just think it's freaking amazing, man. So AK, how amazing is this achievement? That not only Leverkusen have done, but specifically Jabi Alonso has done. Because AK were close to getting 12 in a row. Um, Tw yeah, 12 in a row sounds crazy, bro. Yeah, it does. I mean, first of all, it's crazy that you called him a young child. I mean, that gives us some insight into the fact that you actually, I mean, no, no, no. In the proverbial sense, young in the proverbial sense, the proverbial <laughs> sense. Proverbial hype. I mean, we know that you're 119 years old. So I'm 19 this year. So 119. I'm 19. Um, Okay, on on the it, it was a great moment, bro. I mean, I, I was watching the Arsenal game and the Leverkusen game, and when you know the game ended, I just started clapping because it, it, a twelve-year dominance, HH. I never thought in my lifetime this would end. I never thought this would end in my lifetime. I thought I'd have to go into every single Bundesliga prediction uh, post and say. Why are we predicting this shit? It's Zeman Zeman said twenty in a row. Like no, AK. Like if you'd been if you've been watching this channel for like the, the previous years, bro. The amount of times I was like, like who, like why do we report on this league? Exactly. What's the point of like, us reporting on this league? A year after year after year after year, the same. Like just like you just think about just think about it for for a moment. Exactly. Streets streets. Think about it for a moment. Do you know what it means? You see, we're about to be like. Go crazy for six to do for the road. Do you know what it means for one team to win a league title 34 games 11 times in no, a no, row? No, you're proving my point of what I said earlier, Ricardo. No, 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 no. I'm saying how stupid it is. Yeah, it's not something to be proud of. It's a stupid accomplishment. Yeah, I mean, no, no, no. Like, stupid as in it's 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 wrong, nah, it's fraudulent. H, no, it's H, not H. Wrong. Now, wait, HH, I mean, I don't know why you're going out with Carl. You're actually right here, like. The fact that a team was able to con colonize a country's league. By doing what? AK by, by doing level. what? Taking wait, the best wait, players wait, off wait, of wait, wait, their rivals. Everybody else could have done that. Everyone else could have done that. Why did they Why did they specifically do it? Anybody else could have done that. No, 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 no. Hold up. Okay, 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 down. I don't want to hit, because I respect Bayern, and I think Bayern is a great club. But AK, there's a 50 plus 1 tax on this 11 in a row. There's a 50 plus what? 1 tax. What 50 plus 1 tax? Don't even, have, <laughs> don't even have bought more players from the Bundesliga teams than Bayern have. Like, but, but the amount that you can spend based off of that 50 plus 1 ruling isn't what the EPL well, they guys don't can even spend. spend that much. Bayern don't even spend that much. But it's still mean? Bayern, and they can still have the pull. 
We pulled Dolmen F4 too. Bro, the fact that they colonized the league to that level itself is commendable from Bayern. That, that's incredible. But even this, like, I mean, it, it, I mean it, it, it's brilliant. Like, shout out to Bayern Leverkusen, shout out to Xavi Alonso. I mean, he's, he, he's made history, bro. I mean, like, yeah. he, might, he might, you know, go invincible as well. And if he goes invincible, wins the DFB Pokal and the Europa League, this has to be one of the best seasons in history. Oh, oh, oh no, like, I think, because Mike made the point there, because, you see, like, as I said, okay, let, let them just get the league done now, which I think, good, they've got the league, it's all done. Now, the key thing now is go and beat it. Do it. Like, there are only, like, a few games left. Even though I think they lose to Dortmund, but now the next thing now is try and be unbeaten. But 100%, yeah, yeah. pound for pound, this could arguably be one of the this greatest seasons better, ever. Let's be real. This is better than every Invincible. See, if they go yes. Invincible yes, and is. win the other trophies, it is better than every other Invincible. No, no, no. no. Be, be, because see, when Mike said to me, I was like, eh. Because I said to myself, though, when Arsenal went Invincible, they didn't win the Champions League. And I don't think they won the FA Cup. Correct me if I'm wrong. Did they win the FA Cup that year? I don't think they won the FA Cup that, that, that year. Um, when you, Juve you went you Invincible. Yeah, you know what I mean? When Juve went Invincible, they didn't win the Champions League. So there's been a European Cup to go with it when they went in this, but also there's a Calcio Poli tax <laughs> or the um, UV's uh, thingy wins brand. So basically there's a Luciano Mombardi tax. No team has ever gone invincible in yeah. La Liga. So my thing though we is... close. Close, but close, but he didn't do it. Shout out to Levati, man. Shout out to my boys Levati. Yeah, baby, Levati, baby. Well, so so my thing is that, yeah. Do, I don't care. No, okay. It could be one of the greatest seasons ever. Yeah, exactly. Is. I mean, but yeah, I mean, a lot of good players as well, you know, the true Victor, um, Grimaldo, Frimpong, um, Ta, Ta Florian, Ta, I mean, Florian Vets is incredible, yeah, Vets, man. man. I mean, incredible player. a lot of quality players that weren't bought for, like, massive prices. Bro, it, it's the most, how do you say it? It's the most feel-good romantic story in football that you can find. Okay, 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 okay. Is it is it a better Disney story than Leicester City? Not Leicester City, but Leicester City was out ordinary. Like this is a team that was literally close to relegation when Chabi Alonso came. And the season after they're they're unbeaten in I think they have the I think they're unbeaten in forty something games. No European team has ever gone that long unbeaten in history. And they're going invincible and dethroning a team that has literally won 11 leagues in a row. Like, how much better can you get from that? Uh, Ricardo, talk to me. Put put this thing into into store because I know I know I know that um, you suck off on buying this sad sad individual. Hmm? Wow, that? You suck you suck off anybody who. Okay, uh, Ricardo. You know you know you know I can give you cards <laughs> right now. So relax. <laughs> Uh, we'll get to that the next time. No, this is a, a, a magnificent accomplishment. Regardless of how you like to view it, it doesn't matter. I actually think we'll have to wait till the season's over to really see where this ranks amongst all-time great seasons. And it definitely is on on track to be some of the very best. Um, I, if you tell me if they go undefeated, which I think they can, in my opinion. I don't know why people think they'll lose to Dormant. I could be wrong. Some people think it might be a hangover of them winning the title. But, look, they only need to tie. They don't have to lose. And if anything, we know of Dortmund. Every time you put your money that they're going to do something, they don't do it. So it doesn't really matter. Um, so I think they can definitely go undefeated. They go in, I guess it's called Invincible. Bundesliga title, the first one ever, if I'm not mistaken. And to top it off, you win the the, the against Kais Kaiserslautern, whatever the hell their name is. Sick name, but yeah, you're, lo you're losing that cup. Um... <laughs> So you'll do the domestic double. Uh, and then who knows? Maybe you can win the, the, the Europa League. You get a little baby treble going. It might be a little fluent in treble talks. Um, but no, it would be... A, it has to be up to one of the best accomplishments. And like, look. Let's go, let's go back to it. Because I want to be fair. Like, obviously, to the Bayern fans. You, know, you, you, you don't have to be fair. You know, like no, 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 no. But Ricardo, you, read, read this, the room. This, this read the, the difference. room. No, no. I don't need to read shit. This is the <laughs> difference between me and you, okay? I can appreciate greatness whether it's my team or not. You, on the other hand, if it's not Chelsea scamming their way to all these CCL titles, you don't give a fuck about anything else. Look, right now, my city's under attack, but we're fighting back. Big Drizzy's coming back, but y'all hate on greatness. You have to give it to Bayern. Bro, bro, apparently, bro, 
They said that pray for Canada. Daylight posted pray for Canada in anticipation of of Kendrick. Not, so Ricardo, you no better way. watch out. Kendrick's coming. No, no, he's not. He, he better come strong because we're gonna fucking lit up Compton. But anyways, oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Hey, yo. But look, I'm, I'm gonna say this. Uh, and I said this too at the time that I that I said this. We're not gonna see it now. There's there's people right now like yourself and some people will be like, oh fuck Byron, whatever. Who gives a shit, right? I that's why I said maybe in five to ten years people will start looking back and be like, that's actually a ridiculous ass accomplishment. Anybody yeah, who really. hates on that accomplishment is somebody who genuinely just hates on greatness. Okay? Ricardo, you know that Wikipedia can be edited. Factos, factos. No, 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 no. Let's not. Do so, that. so, so when I edit it, I'll be the guy who. Okay. Like, oh, that's, I said no, 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 Ricardo. It's a, of course, it's a commendable. It's commendable. No, I don't call it it's great. It's commendable. No, no, no. no I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll give you great, props. Are you fucking kidding me? You really? It's commendable. Say, it's not just what the players accomplished on the on 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 the field. It's not just what the manager the managers had in that time. You have to give credit to Bayern Munich as an institution, which we have always held at a high regard of how they run the club to sustain eleven straight titles. And I think AK uh, made a couple of good points that Dortmund were buying quite a bit of players, probably more. It's not Bayern Munich's fault that these other teams in Germany were feeding them their best players. That's great business. It's not their Bayern's fault that they know how to position themselves better to being an attractive sporting project. That's not their problem. If correct me if I'm wrong, like Juventus was somewhat doing it to a degree with some of the smaller clubs in Italy. They were taking some of their better players, not maybe to the degree that Bayern was, but even Juventus going nine in a row is fucking incredible. Real Madrid winning three in a row it is incredible. Uh, what else? Uh, even France, even though they lost the last World Cup, going to back to back is incredible. Like, yes, people people hated on the Messi Ronaldo duopoly in the world because oh my god, these guys are so great for so long. When are they gonna come up? Neymar failed. Now we hate Neymar because there's an underlying reason that he can never take the mantle from both Messi and Ronaldo. People just hate greatness, and I get it. When it doesn't come for your club, you hate them. People have been hating on City. People have been hating on Pep Guardiola, which we'll get into in the thing. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a kind of an underlying element that nobody wants to give Pep his credit. You know, obviously yourself. But look, oh, no, Bayern, no, I, I love Pep. Pep is amazing. He's, he's great. <laughs> but no, at the same time, at the same time, well, well, what we saw today was greatness. Florian Verts, the star boy of this team, a three a piece man, yeah, dropping a hat trick to secure the title at home for a team that once upon a time was so close to winning the trouble unfortunately lost all three titles 20-ish or so years later they're in the same position maybe it's not the champions league but it's europa league it's still a european title and they can win it last year we saw greatness again i mean when bayern munich should have lost the league title jamal musiala came up big and you know and and that the, one the flopped finals. no musiala and did the same but i'm the one who flopped as well so it's 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 two piece Someone was a water boy, and you know now <laughs> Florian Verts. You know Bundesliga has given us some good moments the last two years. So, like I said, but you you gotta respect not only what Leverkusen has done, but you can say you may not say now. You may say five to ten years that what Bayern. Did but but okay, do you know what's what's funny? But what what what's he say? Whenever Bayern were were winning it, everyone was saying it's a farmers league. Ricardo I heard not nothing from you. Twenty six sixteen. What what did he say when they won it in twenty sixteen? When they won it in 2017, in 2018, in 2019. Yeah, but those things when, when, when were you 2015? When yeah. were you 2014? Those things you, didn't, you, didn't, you didn't say anything, did, did you? No, but those things can be true, though. Two things can be true. Why? It doesn't have to be absolute. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a farmer's league. You still got to go out there and win the 34. Okay, so basically. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so basically, if you win a farmer's league, you are great. Okay, I, I get but it. But it wasn't a farmer's league then. No, 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 Ricardo. I said, I said, I agree with you. If you win a farmer's league, you are great. So, yeah, you're uh, right. ha- I agree with have you. Hope, have up. Can you please give me a definition of a farmer's league? Yeah. A farmer's league is a league that you farm, that you own through legal means. Right, how do Bayern Munich own a farm? And, and, and also, if I'm, it's, it's basically, it's a league that is not competitive, and, and if you wanna that be, is colonized, and it's fully dominated by if, if one team. Be, Hence, if, why if, we call it a farmers if league. If you want to be honest, Man City, Wait. Man City are not only you know buying players here and there, but they're also giving their scraps to other contenders, and they still can't fucking win. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. <laughs> Ricardo, we'll get to one fifteen. Hold up, we'll get to one fifteen. We'll get to one fifteen. So, so, so um, Sebastian, talk to me about. Um, this great achievement by Leverkusen. Why are you asking yourself to talk? That's not my name. That's not my name. Sebastian, go for it. I'm literally here anyways, but 
Yeah, I think by Leverkusen, I gotta give him a lot of credit. Obviously, Florian Wirtz scoring a hat trick. Don't forget he was on the bench. Yes. Um, yeah, Leverkusen. Obviously, they did very, very well. Um, How do you rate this achievements for for Jabi Alonso? Out of ten, what kind of achievements is it for for Jabi Alonso? It's it's difficult, you know. Um, but I would say eight, maybe, because he hasn't won another trophy. Um, if he wins the travel, that would be amazing because I love him as a coach. He is very good and hopefully he wins the Europa League and the Cup. So. Personally for me, if he doesn't win the other two trophies, it's already for me, it's already a nine. If if he wins two trophies, it's a 9.5. If he wins three trophies, it's like a 10, borderline 11. Like it has to be a nine because bro, this is his first full season. Leverkusen have never won a title in their history and he just stopped in an 11 year run. It's a nine out of 10, <laughs> you know? So, I mean, I mean, so, but do you think this could be the start of dominance for Leverkusen? Sebastian? Um, You're on mute. Yeah, um, I, I would say so. Um, but yeah, it's, it's very good. It's a very good season. Um, 87, where, where, where is it? Leverkusen. It is yeah, going to put that guy king on uh, timeout. That guy okay. king. All right, I will. Um, it is someone saying mods do your work. Mods do your work. Yeah, it's a it's an, a tremendous achievement uh, for Barley Bergusa to do this. Um, and this is a team that's been called like the German Spurs. This is a team that have messed up so many times over the last couple of years. Deep. Um, the last time they were this close to winning the league title was in 2002, uh, when they uh, met, lost by the league by one point. And now it feels like it feels like this is like redemption. You know, for them to win the trouble this year, um, I still don't think they will, um, but um, I hope they do because that would be an incredible achievement. And I think a lot of players have been giving credit for this team. It's not just Warts, um, Grimaldo, Ta, uh, yeah, Ta, and Radecki. Radecki's uh, been the captain for this team for so long, and he's finally won a trophy uh, for them, and it's an uh, amazing achievement. And yeah, for uh, Bayer Leverkusen, man. Um, can they start dominating? I think it's a bit too. Uh, it's going to be very interesting because for me, it's basically between them and Bayern, and um, I just hope that Bayern Leverkusen don't lose the big players because. If so, 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 especially so, Sebastian gave um, Alonso an eight for what he's done so far. So let's say he's won the league right now, out of ten, because I, I give it a nine. So what do you give what he's achieved so far? Thinking that there are two more trophies, I, 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 I give it a nine out of ten for what he's done. I would say probably like a, I, I probably like a nine point five. Honestly, I think this is amazing. This motherfucker's um, a ten. Um, wait, 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 wait. Who said ten? Me. It's, it's not. A, how, how have we made ten? No. What do you it's, mean? Look, it's ten. Look at the fucking. No. The, look at the context of the shit. He's got some more trophies. Wait, 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 hold on. Do you realize that a ten is perfect? Yeah, Tenna is yes. perfection. Bro, you've yes. just been going on about the league and level oh and 12 in the row. Do and you, all the I know. And now Do you realize that 10, 87, can, can you just please talk over this, this clowns, please? 87, continue. So, yeah, so, so, uh, so you're saying you're going to give 9.5? Yeah, 9.5. Yes. It's, it's really close to 10. And I'll probably give it a 10 if they go unbeaten. Uh, but, um, um, but yeah, 9.5 is still very good. Um, <laughs> <for them. laughs> Nine point, like, guys, you know that's. You don't, you know, 10 is the maximum. You can't do 11 or 12. So yeah. even nine points, see for me, nine, I can actually agree with 9.5, but I say, I'll, I'll say nine. But if this guy goes unbeaten, then I'm going to give him 9.5. If this guy adds two more trophies, it's a, it's, it's a perfect 10. It's a 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 100%. Um, what's it regardless. called? Uh, Gatlock, where, 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 where you say? And what do you give this out of 10, his achievement? Nine as well. But it's eventually going to be 10 once he does the... Okay, so can you okay he... ex explain why you don't give it a 10 according to these two clowns, Ricardo and, and AK? Well, because the season isn't over. It's 10 so far, but the season is not over yet. At the end of the season, if this is all he has done, it's still, it's still a great achievement. Like 9 is A, not, 9 is A, it's still like grade A. So it's not like I said for... It's just that throughout the entire season, you are seeing two other competitions. If he wins one of the trophies, either Europa League or Deutsche Poker, it's still like you can now raise it to a 10. Because the thing is, it's not perfection yet. 10 is perfection. It's not perfection yet. 
That's the reason why I'm not giving them it. Depends. So, so do you think they go on 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 beats and do you think they win? They throw the trophies, in your opinion? I still don't think they go on beats, but because now we're going to see complacent um, Leverkusen, which is going to be against Dortmund and Stuttgart. However, if they do go on beating, that's a different mentality that I did not see coming, which is not greater than whatever Bayern has, has ever done. So that, that that kind of mentality itself is going to be a 10 over 10 plus add-on that I'm going to give it because that that that's just going to be a crazy achievement. That's something that's not been done as much as you call the Bundesliga if I'm magic, whatever. Even the best of Bayern has not accomplished that on beating. I know like as if he he won 20 games and drew 14 or something like that. This is just like going to be like maybe four, five, or six draws out of 34, which is already sick in itself. Plus, there are many points ahead of Bayern Munich. It's 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 too much of it's too many dubs, man. Shout out Kane and Dyer. Sorry, <laughs> for, the, sorry for them. And... You don't know no, that Kane now. Let's see. Kane has to win the, the UCL. I don't know how, but he's going to somehow win the UCL, bro. And shout out Xhaka as well. Xhaka, man. Now I that's mean, a narrative. <laughs> I was I was so happy for this guy because he was at Arsenal. And I'm like, and everybody always blamed him for always losing his head at, at critical moments and stuff like that. I'm like, hey, is it is it Xhaka or Arsenal? Because I see him for Switzerland and he's he's money. Now he has brought it to Leverkusen and he's doing well. So I'm I'm just happy for the guy, man. Shout out to Xhaka. Um, Baron, a job yeah, Alonso. What do what do you grade this so so far? I don't, I don't know what Javi Alonso achieved. I'm gonna say I'm hesitating between eight out of eight or nine. Damn, damn, eight. Okay, eight times. No, because there's still stuff to go. You still have to win your domestic cup and the Europa, but they've done the hardest part, which is win the league. And congratulations to them. And um, just the context of the season. Even last season, like uh, they, prog- they progressed week by week, and to the, and this year we've seen the results. And when you look at the players that came in this year, so Grimaldo, Shaka, Boniface, like they've been money for them. So just a great well, season. No, 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 and, sorry, uh, sorry, sorry, I mean, Barca. Now, guys, are people dumb? Are you stupid? How are you giving it a ten? <laughs> It, it, it just be, uh, hold on when you get to me okay okay when i get to you okay so so barry and then i'll come no, to you it's, afterwards it's, it's, so barry, I, think continue. They, I think they're thinking of it as 10 so far they're not thinking of it we are thinking of it as overall the season plus the game that no no yeah good. like it's not that it's just like when you compare relative to uh, the barry Q, the, the success these guys have never won shit before and for oh. them to win it in this manner as and, and to, like, if they lose the the what was the the well, the FA Cup equivalent, whatever it's called, like it's not a big deal if we're being honest. They have never won before, what? and this is You've Leverkusen's never won a league title. Before. Yeah, Leverkusen have ne- never won a title. This is Chabi Alonso's first year. If you were to tell me the start of the season that the directors at uh, Leverkusen were gonna be like, oh, we could actually make a title charge this year, they'll be laughed in your face. Like this has exceeded every single expectation. It's, this a, is it's already a, a ten. It's a nine. No, it's, it's not. A nine. Because a ten is if if they go on beating, then you can give it a ten. Screw it, then you can give it a ten. It's a nine. If you want to say nine point five, fine. It isn't perfection. I'm sorry, it isn't perfection. It is, and also the season ends so it's over. How could you already give it a freaking Look, ten? Ten is perfect. You're just ten is like literally. This is like perfect perfection. Ass. You want to know what perfection is? It's going literally. 34 and 0 and not conceding a single goal. So oh, sh- that makes no sense. Shut up. No, no, Wait, sure, but. Very um, but like, what kind of seasons like can you remember that you would rate a ten out of ten, for example? Because that's the pedestal that we're putting in Leverkusen if you're giving ten out of ten. That nobody ever has been a ten. I mean, in, in what context? That's the thing. Wait, because like, ten, so people are a ten by ten, ten is for, an, a ten by ten a ten by ten is an unbeaten travel, unbeaten yeah, travel. Which that's no, a oh yeah, yeah, that would be crazy. I'll, I'll give it a ten, but. If you lose it's, 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 okay, that's okay. Okay, if you want to use context, then it's a fifteen out of ten. <laughs> if you want to use context, but I'm I'm just giving you a real score. If you want to use context, it's a fifteen out, out of ten. If you want to talk about ex, use all the context and, and what this means and who level because it's, it's a fifteen out of ten. But if we're keeping it a stack and keeping it real, it's nine. No, it's not. It's a ten out of ten. Okay. Yeah, good. Okay. What do you, um, what, do you hold on. what do you rate to for Invincibles? Is that a ten out of ten as well? No. 
No, no, yeah, I'm talking about Ricardo. Wait, me? Yeah, is it, is that a 10 out of 10? No, because Arsenal were a more successful club before Leverkusen. Like, what are you not understanding? Okay, yeah, I'm just trying to gauge where you're... you're they have won the before the Invincible season, right? Am I not? Yeah, they yeah, have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What, have Liber- what have Leverkusen won? <laughs> Nothing, oh. but that's the thing. Okay. Just like Leicester, do you put Leicester's... Um, um, this thing? Season as, as a 10 out of 10. Yeah, no, it's not a 10 out of 10. Bro, it's Leicester City! <laughs> It's, it's, not, not it's, not it's not a 10 out of 10. It's not a 10 out of 10. Oh my God. No, 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 no. But my There's thing no though way. is that, no, no, but, okay, here was it. Are we using context or are we keeping it a stack? You have if to we're using context, it's context. 10 out of 10. Leverkusen. What do you mean keep it a okay. stack? Okay, what, what, no, 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 no. what, what if Luton, what if Luton, what if Luton Town wins the scores. There are two scores. What if Luton Town, what if Luton Town wins next season? Is that a 10 out of 10? Context or real score? No, I'm sorry, there are some scores. Are you Context smoking dick? Stack. Like, what are you talking Ricardo, about? Ricardo, first of all, don't you, don't you dare use, you don't let dare use a word, I'll book you right now. I know, I tell you, there are, there, are, there are two scores. Context or a stack. You have, if, if, if it's a stack, it's a, stack, win, it's a, it's a, it's a nine. If it's, if it's, if it's, if it's a real thought, it's 16 out of 10. So, basically, Ricardo and AK, you've given me the Disney score. I'm giving you the HBO <laughs> score. <laughs> okay, there are two scores. There's a Disney score and, a, and an HBO score. No, it, no, no, no. Level Cousin's Disney score is Level Cousin's Disney score is sixteen out of ten. You can only the use a Disney, Disney score. score. It's by a level cousin. You can no, judge them like no, 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 no. We keep it a stack. <laughs> I keep, I keep the same energy for every, everybody. So if we keep, if we keep it a stack, real score, keep the same energy. It's nine. If we want to do Disney, sixteen. <laughs> Simple as that. Yeah. Okay, for you, it's, it's for you, it's, it's for you, it's just what. What does a club have to do to get a ten out of ten score? What does a Thank club? Thank you. Have to no, do? no, no, wait, wait, hold up. For, within no, within a, a, a league. No, overall. We, in a season, oh. or in the league. Wait, let me ask you a quick question. Wait, wait, no, no, wait, 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 let me answer oh, Nomad, let me answer Nomad. My no thing man. is, you have to go unbeaten, high number of goals, let's see, high number of, of goals, a great defensive record. Okay, so let me ask you so, a question. So, so, so basically, um, um, lots of goals scored, very low G, um, very low goals against unbeaten. Domestic, that's a 10. Okay, let me ask I, a question. It's so simple. Like, I don't it, know why it's that. It's so simple. Is a, is a 10 out of 10 for Real Madrid, a 10 out of 10 for Man City, the same as a 10 out of 10 for Leverkusen? Ricardo. This is the guy Ricardo. who speaks no, about no, no, Dodd no, and Dodd. No, no, Ricardo, yeah. it's, 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 it's called oh Disney. God, just answer the fucking no, question. I'll say again, it's, there's a Disney <laughs> score and there's a, there's, a, there's a score, keep it answer in the stack. Answer the question, No, no, no. When we, no, no, no. When we keep it in stack, we see, when we keep it a stack, it's the same energy. If we're right, implying wait, 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 Disney, wait, wait. then context. Uh, wait, if this were Chelsea, what, what score would you give it? Look, Elijah, <laughs> what's <laughs> Elijah? What's, <laughs> like, what's <laughs> going on? Give it Jabi Alonso. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Way, hold on. Hold on, Let me just say this quickly. Yeah. The way I see it, the Leicester season is 10 over 10 because of who Leicester are. As much as the yeah. Cousin have never won it, they are still a team that is usually up there. In no. the top four and whatnot. You know that's, why the, that's how that, no way Ricardo with you. That's just how I how I see it. Because the recruiting oh. do have good players and whatnot. And yes, nobody predicted them to be winning. However, like I said, they still have two um trophies to go. And there's a chance of an unbeaten season. The reason why I'm giving is ten over ten. It's like it's it's, it's it's a gar- yeah. gar- 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 These yeah. norms calls yeah. realize that you know this isn't isn't over yet. <laughs> you know yeah. this isn't yeah. over. You know there's still games to to, to go. If so, they lose the Europa League and they lose the the domestic cup, it's I'm too sorry, much. it's still it's still a great fucking season. What if they don't go unbeaten? What, what if okay? So so if they don't go on unbeaten, it's still it's still ten. Yes, because they yes, 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 yes. Elijah, talk over this clown, man. Elijah, talk over this clown. I think I lost the chromosome last five minutes. Elijah. So the, thing, the thing is, HH, the, the thing is, this this pharmaceutical company, you know, shout out shout out to Bayer Bayer Pharmaceuticals, because um, if you guys didn't know, that's actually who. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, HH, the thing is, prior to this, obviously we know about you know the 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 team with Balak, and you know Lucio and and Zé Roberto and and the goalkeeper. I forgot. I think it was I, I, but. Prior to that, HH, Bayer Leverkusen were second division merchants. This this thing, they, they didn't know what that was 
until they got in, then they won they won UEFA Cup. Then they kind of became consistent. They maintained, you know, elite status and this, that, and the third. But what everybody's technically other guys are trying. Why I agree with you know, Nomad, AK, and Ricardo is. I am here. I am here. Okay. It, okay, that's nice. Catch up, that's don't, good. don't. <laughs> You said, you said there was a coward. Samasi, Samasi, relax. Yeah. Elijah, so we'll get you. Samasi, we'll get to you. Elijah, go for it. So my my thing is, HH, the, the thing with Leverkusen is when you when you compare them with your Dortmunds, your Bayerns, your, even Hamburg, even Wolfsburg, they're a tier below. Bayern technically, I mean, Bayer, Bayer, Leverkusen in terms of in terms of wins are a tier below, and for them, this is a massive success. That's why, for some, if you say it's a ten, That's a big there could nothing, nothing be should there's it shouldn't be wrong to say it's a ten if you're a Bayer fan. If you also compare Bayer with other clubs, other elite clubs, you can give them a ten because the fact that they've won the league, something they've never done before. Something they Elijah, what do you that. give them? Elijah, as Elijah Chilembe, what are you giving them? I'm, you, I'm give, I'm giving them a ten for the yeah. fact that it's never been done before. They don't, they've never sniffed HH. They've never even sniffed it. You got to think about it. Thank he, you, he, Elijah. Thank so, okay, so, at, so you can't give me nine point five. Hold on, hold on, Elijah. What's wrong with a nine? Elijah, what's wrong with a nine? What's what's wrong with a nine? Elijah, are you rating them for the Bundesliga season or for the oh, entire season? Oh, oh, Wait, hold on. Let him last. Elijah, talk. Elijah, let Elijah, talk, Elijah. Let him talk, talk after Elijah. Again, I say the thing. I'm saying that because in Germany, and Sumasi, back me up if I'm right, the most important thing to win in Germany, it is not winning European competition. It's to win that 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 shield right there that, that Chabi is, is looking at. Is to win the Deutschmeister. That's the more important for Germans. For Germans. For Germans. For Germans. It's disgusting. I do. Bayern, a Bayer fan will say this is a ten. For no. us, it's because we pulled the Champions League, we pulled Europa League, we pulled the other stuff. But in Germany, for them, that's that's the bread and butter. Um, hold on, let me. I give you the Max Holloway. Can I say right something now. on this old Leverkusen? I give okay, you go for that, man. Go for it. First of all, all the shameless um, Madrid fans, on Liverpool fans, you are bottling the league right now, and all I see is uh, Javi Alonso tweets and Lever Leverkusen tweets. Have some shame, okay? Have some shame. First of all, there's a big tax on that Bundesliga in. It's called Pukhaliban. Okay. Some don't. Some oh. no. making excuses. <laughs> oh, oh my God. He's making excuses. Smasi, this is embarrassing. No. Smasi, don't embarrass no. yourself. No, 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 no. Smasi, don't embarrass yourself. You embarrass yourself. You embarrass yourself. Damn, bloody fool. That's stupid. Smasi, don't. No, no, no. She, she's going to be the second. No, no. Smasi, don't, don't you dare discredit Leverkusen's league title. It is. It is. This is, this is a long term relationship that just broke up now. 11 years. You know how that's sad. That, that, that's yeah, no, no, like, no, 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 Smasi, this is not. Come on, Smasi, this is F top. Smasi, you can't do this. Smasi, you can't. They're not. They're not. She's yeah. going through the five stages. She's in denial right now. Let her. Exactly. You know, if you were in grade no, one, no. you're going through denial. No. You would have graduated high school by the time this dynasty. No, no, ended. let me. Can I? Can I talk? Samasa, okay, go. <laughs> they won. They won the first um, Bundesliga title. Congratulations to them. They have a great season. Is that sustainable? No, because that says it's Javi Alonso is leaving in 25, 26. Um, from Pong has a release card, uh, a lot of clubs are in for Grimaldo, etc. So, is it are they gonna dominate? No, is this sustainable? No, it what uh, what I give Xavi for his first season, a eight, a ten, and my god, HH, all I want is the season to end and they're not going invincible. This. 
Wait, 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 hold up, wait, hold up. So, so, hold up. Do you know, on our travel season, 12, 13, where we lost to, where we were almost invincible, Leverkusen. These assholes, we should have gotten invincible, we didn't. And I pray to God that Stuttgart, and I can't believe I'm rooting for Dortmund, but I am, win against him, okay? They deserve nothing, Leverkusen. They should... Wait, hold on, no, Smash, so the, the, you, you're, you're giving them what's out of 10. Most, no, no. What's great are you giving Javi Alonso? You're going to give him a 4. Three hate. No, no, an 8. It's incredible. 8? Like that's hate. See, it's, that's hate. Mm-hmm. No, eight? it's a 8. Smash, so this is Leverkusen's three. first ever title. I and this is Javi Alonso's first ever season. You know... The, all the years, you you assholes disrespected by him every time they win this fucking title. And now you want to give him it? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. We smoke it on that fire <laughs> pack, baby. <laughs> no. I, I'm Fuck here, you guys. Wait, wait, wait. So, wait, Sebastian. So, 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 first of all, kids are watching. So, so, why couldn't they give you Alonzo credit? You better not give a super chat tonight, okay? Actually, that, <laughs> see, 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 Daddy Us, this is yeah, when I we actually need a, a bomb in dog. But, thank you. I was with you. I'm so close to having to fucking lose it because of this season and talk on all the else I've taken with my national team and with Bayern. It's it's too much else for me, okay? It's too much else for me. And any any Berlin has to make the triple or something. Oh so my Matthew, god, you need a Xanax. Bellingham, you need a Xanax. If Bellingham wins a uh, UCL or scores in the final. I'm what fucking losing it all. What's the problem? Yeah, it's it's, it's, look, it's, 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 look. Okay, wait, hold up. Let me console. So, so, Cole, what do you give this achievements that Javi Alonso has done, Cole? Oh, my God. Oh Put me in the background. As long as Scott talk. Put me in the background. All right. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much, HG. Um, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. As a football fan, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, oh, oh, okay, so you're, so, you're, so, you're, so, you're, so you're not a band fan. Yeah, I'm. 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 i Wow. Okay, okay, okay. Let Coco okay, so cool. What do you give? Okay, so what, what do you want to give Jabil Jab- Jab- achievement? Yeah, HH. This guy deserves a ten. He's the greatest manager of all time. I don't want Thank anybody. You, I don't want anybody. I don't want anybody to mention any other manager <laughs> of all time. This, <laughs> guy, <laughs> this guy. Let me tell you something. This guy is the greatest manager of all time. I don't care what you say. I look. I know. I'm I'm a Bayern fan, but I'm being honest and I'm gonna say the truth. This Leverkusen title win, HH. I'm sorry. This is the same guys who had Michael Balak. They bottled in 2002 in that Champions League finals against Real Madrid. They lost a treble that same season. Bro, like this guy is amazing. I, I've never seen such a coach like this guy. I'm sorry. I am so sorry, HH. I'm going to say this. If he gets the right players in the summer, HH, we're looking at some very scary hours here. I think Leverkusen can win a Champions League. If he gets the right signings, they can win. Because this team... Damn bloody fool. That's stupid. How? You're laughing, you're laughing, but it should you can you can laugh all you want. But bro, this team don't lose. So so okay, when do you think they can win the level cousin? When do you think the cousin can win the no, not like Chelsea to be fair? I think it can be ne- if if they get the yeah, right time. Kind of if they get the right signings, so 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 if they get so hold, 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 hold. so cool, if they if they get the right signings this summer, can they win the UCL next year? Definitely. Who who's there? Aside from City and Real Madrid, who's really there? <laughs> I'm being honest. Who really is a good team? 
Because Bayern is going down. We're declining. Barca is declining too. Who else is supposed to? It is. Oh, it is. Can I go after Cole? I need, to, I need to do something, please. Oh man, come on. This guy said, apart from City and Real Madrid, who else is there? So they, but they have to beat them in order to win the UCL. No, 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 no. But but the thing is, what I'm saying is, they're the third favorites to win the Champions League next season because there's no other team. Aside from City and Roma, you know, you R- know. Ricardo and Anake, I blame you for 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 for, for, for the breakthrough that has been spoiled right now. What do you mean? I blame what the both I of do? you guys for what you. Did I do? He, he took inspiration from you guys. Oh, ever oh ever my. since that Disney crap you spotted about oh ten out of ten. You this is this this is the crap. I blame you too. If Chelsea can shit out of the UCL, no, no, why can Liverpool? I'm just an honest buyer no, from Nate. I'm just an honest buyer from Nate. Like, going to Real Madrid? I, be honest. I'll be on. No no no. Hold on, Ricardo. Uh, let me be honest with you. H H Bayern has to do a lot this summer in order to get back in track because okay okay okay, okay 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 cool it's just gonna what level cousin have done I gotta come see what level cousin done is amazing it's mm-hmm. superb we are proud of them and it's an amazing achievement but mm-hmm. you do realize that they haven't faced any tier one opponents apart from Bayern that, they have that, not faced so apart from Bayern Munich and a struggling declining Bayern Munich they've mm-hmm. not faced tier one Champions League grade teams. They but haven't it, faced them before. But, but it, you have you know the saying: you can only beat what's in front of you, and and that's what that's what you guys have so found. No, 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 and and I get that, but mm-hmm. you can't base them winning a Bundesliga or a Europa League to not make a leap that they can now face and beat Champions League level opponent because the mm-hmm. teams in the Champions League knockouts are considerably better than most of the teams in the Bundesliga and most of the teams in the Europa League. But it, it, we, we've gone gone out the days where it used to be about um, the players. It's, it's, it's now more about the managers' um, in-game tactics, game management, man management. That is what Chabi Alonso has, and that is what's winning him games. So that's what I'm saying. It, it, and, I, and I think this is good for Bundesliga to it, it, because it makes it even more competitive. We can see, we can start seeing more different winners now and now we're not going to hear oh it's a one-man show every single season you see call, call you say this right now and if we're back here hopefully touch wood next season and banner are champions then what oh, will you say uh, uh, it, it, it's not gonna unless they make a huge huge massive overhaul of signings because there's a lot of signings by okay, 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 okay wait hold on so, so got you wanted to say something about about this about this this dude to the top left yeah yeah just give me a second Former okay. Basel fan, former Ace Milan fan, okay, now Florence, now 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 current Dortmund fan. How much do you get paid for doing this guy? No, you Forever. you were a Barcelona fan to begin with, and then you then blamed Messi for the whole yes. thing. Then you then became an Ace Milan fan. Then for some okay. reason you then left Ace Milan, and now you're a Dortmund fan. Wait, wait, before oh, let, wait, Bidiko, before you speak, it's just, I swear, this thing I was probably doing hang out with a lot of dudes just switch different team, bro. Like, it's insane to me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> look, <laughs> look, it is what it is. These, these, these are the kinds of people that I attract. It is what it is. Bidiko, mm-hmm. so talk about your, your third club. <laughs> so talk about My your third club. club. Talk, talk about your third club. Can... Is there any way forward for your third club? How does your third club close the gap between yourselves and Bayern Munich? <laughs> I mean, uh, if you notice, HH, uh, I have a contract with Dorman for uh, three years. So I already signed it, so yeah. Bidiko, answer the effing question, man. I just need to put <laughs> this dude, man. <laughs> Caught in 4K. Caught in 4K, bro. Wait, I really? mean. Oh my! Oh, he's back. Oh no, no, no! I started to put him in the background so he couldn't. How the fuck did you find that? <laughs> well, I have oh, no. it. I look, you had that. You had to go because that is a deep in the archives because that's like years ago. No, no, no! I had it. It's just been sitting. I no, no, no! Now, do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know, do you know a golden receipt? Which? A golden receipt is when he was a Barca fan. I can't find now, that. Now, if you can find that, because there is footage of this guy on Google Hangouts. This was one of the streamers. This is in the Google Hangouts days where this guy was a Barca fan. And that was his club that he was with. And then he it changed is, after corner taking quickly. Do you know where I can find that? 
Oh. Not too quickly. <laughs> uh, by the way, can you post some assy and she keeps... Uh, yeah. I don't, I'm not ready to hear people swear in German. Before I put on, <laughs> yeah. does, does anybody have anything um, they want to add to this level cousin um, Jabia Alonso thing? No, we're good. Barry. Oh, no, okay, okay. So let me hit this up real quick. So, Sha oh, I told this guy not to. Half of snow bonnets. Looking around, I've never seen so many black people in one area. Salah and Nunes on Palace low block. Club legacy decent, but Liverpool big club. One Premier League and one. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. And half of snow bonnets. I told you not to send the dub. Change that to effing AVI, bro, because kids are freaking watching. Me. He's paying you, man. He's paying you salary. Yeah, screw him, man. Um, Daddy Us, first or semen and now bonny facials. <laughs> Hashtag zesty Niger. <laughs> this guy's <is> here. <laughs> Daddy Us, um, um Pampas, the CL bedwetter, said I'll not hide. <laughs> <laughs> Barry, <laughs> why do you no. Barry, Barry, you know when you laugh like that, it gives you more energy to keep on sending this dumb no, as dogs. No, no. He said Pampers. Shout to Arts, but titles by top three clubs UV 20, East Milan 19, Inter 19, PSG 11, Marseille 10, Saint Etienne, Barca's 8 to manager um, 10, England United 20, Liverpool 19, Arsenal 3. Team Chelsea 13. Um, Spain, Real Madrid 35. Damn, Barca 27. Atleti, Atleti won 11? Wow. Yeah. That's that yeah, actually more than the thoughts. Now, Germany. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> You see, that's, that between, that's... Between, between that with nine, I don't even know if Wait, let me soak it so. So, Bayern, 32. Dortmund, five. Mönchengladbach, five. Perspective. That's yeah. why it's a ten. No, no, no. It's still not a ten, but I... No. <laughs> with context, it's, it's, it's not a ten. It's 16. <laughs> you have to add context. No, 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 no. With, con no. with context, it's 16 out of ten. Real, Nine. I'm no, happy to maybe even add You have to add context. There's no real measurement here. Context measures the only <laughs> way. Uh, guys, hold up. You knew, guys, you knew he was going to do it. You knew he was going to do it. Daddy was actually, I've got something special for Bomian, <laughs> but in the CL. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, before we go yeah. to the cookout, Samasi, what do you want? Samasi? Cool. Oh, we man. lost the league. Okay. And you. Hey, Being happy about it, it doesn't make sense. Doing. It doesn't make sense that you're happy about. I don't care if it's happy for the German um, football or the Bundesliga that we. I don't care. All I care is about Bayern winning. But you don't care about that. I can't leave my club, man. Leave my club. I need you to go. Okay. I need you to. Go find another club who you can terrorize with your jinx. Okay, find just another club. Core, Core are you now. gonna leave? Go Core, are, are you gonna leave? Core, I will really leave. Is he here? I thought he was in the background. No, no, he's still here. Core, will you leave? Left corner. Oh, Javier Alonso did this, right? Core, no, you've, no, you've been asked to, to leave by a German. He's will you leave? He left his, his mic. Um, so <laughs> what's it called? <laughs> Shout out. Wait, what happened? What happened? What? That's yellow for, for Ricardo. Ricardo, I, I, I had that. I had that. Ricardo, I had that. <laughs> like, you think that I don't... Like, there's, these are both headphones. These are both headphones. I, I hear everything. Okay, I hear, I hear everything. So... That's a red bird. Um, yeah. Okay, Martin Rosario. Streets, remember the famous core rants when Basel lost to Liverpool at Anfield in 2019? <laughs> yes, but see, Gatlock, if you find that, that is a golden receipt because You're that is when everything team. changed. No, no, you I haven't. Have when, like when he had that Elijah rant played, in 2019, wait, Elijah, you have you have it? No, no, no. The, the, it's, no, no, no. The video is on YouTube, HH. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 it's there. It's there. That's where Okay, so, um, Elijah, is the mic working there, Elijah? Lord have mercy. Is the mic working? Yeah, my mic is working. Hold on. All right. Hold on. So, here's the thing, guys. 
<sighs> it can end like this. It's gone. It has to. Got, got it like will. No, 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 will be. No, 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 no. Got it. Like. Even, now. even. Now I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy because Gatlock. I think somebody actually sent this as a dub like um, weeks ago. Do it for club can't be a karabuki. <laughs> oh, that's the only happiness I got. Like Klopp's last season, do it for Klopp make it better. Can't be a karabuki that was given to them by Conor Gallagher. It can't be. But I've, I've got some more stuff to say. But let me just say my stuff, and I'll give it to you, Elijah. My thing here is. You have to just take stock here. Um, and hold on, okay. So rank. There, there, there's a space real, real quick. There's a space real quick. So so so, so rank, comment. Rank, there's a space real quick. So um, you have to take stock here. This team just isn't good enough. You see, this is, what, this is what I wanted to say that I couldn't say on the Arsenal stream because I wanted to focus on Arsenal. When you look at Liverpool... It's simply a case of these players are not good enough. You see, the thing about the Arsenal Villa game was Emery completely tactically outclassed them. Like Villa deserved to win. Villa were the better team. Palace were not the, the, the better team. Liverpool deserved to lose, but the way they lost was more respectable than how Arsenal lost. The way Arsenal lost was disgraceful that was a disgraceful loss how the way that liverpool lost was your players i'm sorry do better what do i will say when your team creates chances the manager's job is done if a team is not creating chances the manager is not doing something proper tactically but once your team is creating chances bro the manager can't convert them for you so the manager has created a tactical system to put you in the place to win, which is creating chances, which is tactically exposing the defense and now saying what's up. But now it's down to you, the individual, to convert. Bro, I rep Salah, and we know what Salah has done. I am shocked Salah missed those chances. I still think Curtis Jones scored. Like, before Curtis Jones shot, I was like, oh, go, go. I still think the, I still, I still think the guy scored. You know, the amount of opportunities they had, it just did not make any sense. So my thing here is, you see, Klopp is a guy where he wears his hat on his sleeve and you know it's, this is pains him. This pains him so much. And he, because he said that you will see a response in Bergamo. And I'm like, they have a chance. I don't know how away from home they beat Atlanta, but hey, if there's one team you don't want to back against, you'd, I, you'd never bet against corner taken quite quickly. But the thing about Conor taking quickly is Wijnaldum, Origi, a, a, a fully fit Trent, a very different team. And this team... No, no, it's it, and... And, and money. Anfield. Okay, okay, so yeah, Anfield, Anfield. So, okay, in relation to, yes, in relation to Bergamo, Anfield. <laughs> you know, I feel so without having that crowd is crazy. But speaking to this right now is, I think Rank even said this. Rank made this point weeks ago, which is that this is always coming and they were only just getting by. And what's this, the, the, um, the saying, papering over our cracks? Eventually, the, the paper is going to snap. If you don't plaster over our cracks and you just put paper, okay, it'll be good. Eventually, it will start leaking because you need to put plaster rather than paper over the, the cracks. So the bigger picture here is admire Klopp. Now people will say, oh my gosh, you're just being a Klopp apologist because he vouched for Nunes, he vouched for these guys. Klopp made these players look better than they actually are. He made these guys look better than they actually are. And I think that when, if we're going to be real, do we really rep Curtis Jones? Is Nunes really that good? Diaz is talented, but how good is Diaz really? Do, I mean, what is a Javi Elliott, if not a, a, a ballet dancer from Ireland? Whoa, so, whoa, whoa, whoa. so my thing is, so my thing is that 
the reality here is this players, they're simply not good enough. And I think, and it's because there's a larger point here, and we'll get into the pep, but before it comes to larger than the rank is when all is said and done, and Pep does his four in a row, this was never a rivalry. Elijah, talk to me, man. I, I, I mean, I, 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 hold on, hold on. Pull, pull up my AVI, please. Oh, Lord. Oh, no, no, so sorry. That's one give right. So, shout out to Callisto, man. <laughs> Callisto, Callisto is weird because it's crazy. Man. Yeah, it, 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 no, I, I kid you not. That was. Wait, I, wait did I, he give I, you earmuffs? <laughs> no, those are my, my nephew's headphones. Okay. HH, HH, that was my That was my upper ear, the other one's on the lower ear. <laughs> because I pulled it down, but <laughs> HH, that, that, that was my reaction after that game. I didn't, HH, I was so depressed. I didn't even go to church today. I stayed in the house because the game ruined my mood. Damn. Because in cases like that, you okay, you're down 1 0, 14th minute. Okay, cool. That's all right. Like, you, in a way, because you're so used to it, you'd expect these guys to like. Okay, they're gonna. It's fine. They're gonna come back two one. They're gonna come. They're gonna score one way or another. But to see Curtis Jones miss that chance on a, a that Crystal Palace player was half an inch away from either getting red carded and giving a penalty. Yeah, you know he was about to give up with the penalty. I thought he was, he was gonna do that. He was gonna, yeah, I was like, okay, he's he's good to go. He's he's going through, but. For some odd reason, that didn't happen. Salah's chance in the 88th minute where a deflection comes, it's a deflected pass that comes back to Sobosly, who then finds Salah, and then Salah's shot gets blocked at the near post, was insane. To then see Jota miss his chance as well. I, I kid you not, Liverpool could have scored four times in the last 20 minutes and won that game 4-1. It was it could have easily finished 4-1. Me personally, I understand why Klopp is leaving. Then you did mention because the heart on his sleeve thing. The younger version of Klopp would have eaten these dudes alive and would have made drastic changes in a way to prove a point. But I understand that I understand the name of the game. Obviously, it comes with age and everything. I get that. Mm. But it is unacceptable to be losing at the crib when the chances were given to you like that. So it's, I mean, the it chances were insane. It's unacceptable. Now, the thing is, did these guys? Okay. Now, my my biggest concern now is Thursday. What is Thursday going to look like? Because you have to go in there unless – unless me personally, I don't think these guys will – this type of team will not survive extra time. You need to go and win the game outright. Because if you say you win the game 4-1 – Wait, 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 goes, wait, hold up. Four, you, wanna, you, want, you want to beat Atlanta 4-0 in Bergamo? HH, this team can't win – this team can't play an extra time. I'm sorry. You give them another 30 minutes? If, 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 no, if this Liverpool side – Beat Atalanta 4-0 in, in Bergamo. It's a I'm miracle. doing something. I'm doing no no no, it's not a miracle. I'm I'm doing something. I don't know what, but I'm gonna do something. Oh dear, that stream might be something. <laughs> but I'm just saying, I'm just saying this team, I, I I don't know where the disconnect is because you can now see there's a clear difference between the Liverpool of February, March, that was a very solid side, even with injuries, and the Liverpool side of April. I'm really trying to understand where the the, the 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 disconnect is, because it's just it's just not making any sense. It's just, Man United, it's just not, it's not Man United. United. But again, so so so, so, wait, so, so is this because this is what I said um, after the Atlanta game? Do all rules lead to that United draw? The one in the oh the one in the yeah the one in the league yeah absolutely yeah the one in the one in the the the, the one in the league was an absolute disgrace the one in the cup was disappointing I think it's more the cup but the no, one in the no, league, no, 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 league. the one the in league. the league the one in the cup is is you can it was a different type it was like it was like watching a basketball it goes back and forth 
But I've always said this team can't be a back and forth type of team. If you score, you must maintain, you must stay on top. But these guys got into back and forth, and that's why they ran out of gas. Now, the one in the league where they did go in front first, they did take the lead. No, 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 they didn't take the lead. But they were in front first, and they were leading for at least 80% of the game. Then you have the minor goal. Then you have um, that last penalty, which Salah scored. But then you still have the chances in that added time where they didn't take it. These talented players, why aren't like just do your job, do your job, basics. And it's really concern. It's really really frustrating. So, and so yeah. my thing is HH. Mm. I'm, going, I'm going. I don't know. I don't know if we're having a. I don't know if we're going to have a pep segment. Oh no 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 yeah yeah. There's a pep segment after pep segment. After. A pep segment. Okay, I'm gonna say that for the pep segment. But HH, I'm gonna say something that's pretty wild, and I think some people are gonna disagree. The Man City team we're seeing right now, this run, is scarier. This league, this league football run in terms of the league itself, is 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 scarier in my opinion. Than the United of the '90s and 2000s. No, 100. You're and crazy. You're crazy. I live, no, 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 I live oh, with us. No, no. I live with us. It's and, scary. And 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 the Liverpool of the '70s and '80s. Yeah. This this city team is 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 beyond that. Okay, okay. So so I mean, so rank. Talk to me. Liverpool. Just talk. Where is it all gone wrong, man? I mean, Elijah was trying to bring some sense to what happened between February, March, and now April. And I think that there is no explanation to it. I think it's just football. Like in, in football, you can shoot a ball two times the same way and sometimes it'll go in and sometimes it won't. I don't think that there's an explanation to why Liverpool were winning games back then and we are not winning now. It's just that it's, it's football. And we were, like I said before, we were just getting by and the momentum is against us in this title race. And... Yeah, it, no, no, I but, feel like but, this but, was but rank. I mean, that was coming. it's true. Rank, you still. I mean, which is true though. Sometimes it is just football, but I'm sure you will know that a large part of football is your state of mind. Like, if you have yeah. strong belief, the way you strike a ball and the way you hit a ball, you just know that it's going to go in. But if you have self doubts, mm -hmm. if let's say some you have been me mentally hit. You don't have that same instinct. You don't have that same sharpness that you just know is that winning For touch sure. of when, when you just touch the ball. And I believe that based of that United draw, there's that bit of self-doubt that has crept into the men, men, men mentality of these players who are normally sharp, specifically like a Salah. But... Definitely, definitely. But, you know, about the, that mentality thing, um, Elijah opened my eyes on the previous stream when he mentioned the local fans. Because when it was the 85th minute and we had missed so many chances, I was not waiting for the moment we would score. I was waiting for the game to end and hear the boos in the stadium. I was waiting to hear booing in Anfield. Thank because you. Because I, I think that this is not something that needs to be tolerated. I'm going to bring up my, my local club because when last year Boca were losing in Copa Libertadores, which is like the Champions League of South America. Yes. Oh, yeah, we know yeah, 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 heard, yeah. Which I had never heard before, Deportivo Pereira. We were losing to a team I had never heard before in our local stadium. And the fans started chanting uh, very nice things about the players' mothers, basically. And we turned that game around in the last, and and South we that game around in the last minute. We went all the way to the final. HH, -H, we went all the way to the final at Libertadores. We were losing in the group stage to a team I had never heard from before. We turned that game around and we went to the final. Players sometimes need to be insulted. They need to realize that they are doing this Facts. for a job. Facts. This yeah. is their job. They are getting paid thousands of pounds just to kick a ball and, you know, train harder in the weekend. Oh, no, oh, no because, because, because right, that's the thing. Even for Boca Juniors, I remember, like, because... Um, because I was watching this documentary where um Garlinica met Maradona and basically like um, they watched the Boca Juniors game. Bro, mm -hmm. when you just say how Maradona is in that stadium, he ain't taking no crap from Boca Juniors, Maradona, because bro, yeah. he, he literally gets a gun and do something with it with a freaking pistol, but shout out to Maradona, you know. So Yeah, yeah, definitely. 
Uh, HH, I was getting PTSD when Van Dyke slipped. <laughs> I was getting PTSD. You know, and oh my Robertson, God, Robertson I... it off the line. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, we all thought the same thing. I felt like it was destiny. We were destined to win that game, but it wasn't meant to happen because the players were not good enough. We couldn't score. Hey, this game could have ended like 3-3. Because we, we should have scored like three goals, but Crystal Palace on the counter attack, they were also super. Like Allison had to make two clutch saves. We had to make that clearance of the line. So, no, but but, 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 but so rank both. Yeah. Go back to the. Why do you think the crowd isn't as vociferous or demanding, knowing what's at stake? Do you think it's a case of because they know this is Klopp's last season, they want to still be respectful of the team yeah. because they're so respectful of, of Klopp? Yeah, yeah, I, I think it comes down, comes down to that because it, it, they don't want a club to have a sour end, basically. They don't want to say goodbye to club in, in such an aggressive way. I, I feel like it, that's just about it. But this is, we were competing for everything this season and now we are out of everything, basically. The season, if we don't make a, a miracle comeback in, in Thursday, it's it's over. The, the season is done because we've seen it time and time again, even though it's a small point deficit against Man City. We've seen it that when they get into these positions, they don't let it slip. They don't let it slip. They, they just run away with it. I they like win Liverpool. every single game. Yeah. So, can, I just, can, I, yeah. can I add to that? Yeah. You know what also makes, you know what also made today worse, in my opinion? This is me. You guys know today was, I think today or tomorrow, is 35 years since Hillsborough. Mm. So the thing was, throughout, like, just looking at, like, fan, like media and stuff, like, this was going to be a big deal. But on one of the most important days of the, of, of the, in the club's, on one of the most tragic days in the club's history, you didn't show up. That's what really, really got me riled up because it's like dog that alone should be like the thing that motivates you you know what i'm saying you understand what i'm saying that alone should be the thing that fires you up no 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 but, 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 but I'm, okay no, I'm, getting there, I'm, getting I'm getting there again at the end of the game today there was actually some noise when the game ended because you could tell there was a mix of people clapping i had i had, I had the mbc i had the mbc version I hear I heard a mix of claps and boos. Boos, obviously, because we lost. We're not happy. But obviously the claps because everybody, you know, everybody claps at the end of the game. But again, to play the last three games have been absolutely horrendous. There's a diff I understand that, Oji, but the thing is you can have your chances, but you need to put them away. In the last 10 minutes alone, Liverpool had at least four to six chances, and they didn't put them away. People passing instead of shooting, shooting instead of passing, basic defending, letting people like Mateta get into the box. Someone like Schlupp. I have not seen Schlupp play since Leicester won the league, and he was on that team. No, 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 but, 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 no, but Elijah, you can't. No, Elijah. You see, my thing is that that is why it's so good that both games were on the same day. Because I look at the Liverpool game and the Arsenal game. If I'm an Arsenal fan, I would be disgusted how Arsenal had to perform. But you see, if I'm a Liverpool fan, I am more frustrated and disappointed because you can't be discussed because the effort was there, the application was there. The, it's just lack of quality and execution. For us now, lack of effort, lack of execution, lack of application, and you got outplayed. Uh, now, Aston, now, Aston, now, now there's, there's a key thing. One is Aston Villa, one, one is Palace. We get that. But my thing, though, for Liverpool, though, is the, these were incredible chances. They're just jumping away. So the issue is that quality. Lack of quality. I don't know. So, 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 so lack of effort, lack of trying, lack of um, knowing what is at stake, lack of applying yourself. It's just quality. Because, I, 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 because, because Elijah, my thing is that effort doesn't 
equate to quality. Effort doesn't equate it to into putting the ball in the back of the net. The back of the net okay, is yeah, it's a bit of effort, but it's specifically it's it's its quality. Yeah, but Salah is quality, and where yeah. was he? But rank, you even said it's yours. No, no, rank. You see, see, rank. You even said it's yourself. It's football. It's for football. Like, unfortunately, Salah just picked a day when normally one of the most clinical finishes that the Premier League has ever seen on a day in which he gets at least two goals. The Salah we know he gets at least two goals that day. He drew a blank at the worst possible time at this stage of the season. You know? So it's like these things happen. But it's but but the reality is the reality. And I said before that you're Liverpool are putting so much on Salah. There is so much that they're putting on Salah that without a co-pilot, I remember Sadio Mane was a key co-pilot to Salah, which Diaz ain't and Nunes ain't. Well, you got also Jota has been I, injured. But don't forget Firmino as well. I don't know why these people tend to overlook Firmino a lot. Oh, I, I do. So I, no, I, I named him, 100%. When you, when you look at it, Firmino was the glue that kept those two from colliding because obviously it's two different egos and if it wasn't for Firmino and he said it himself those two would be bumping heads every week but this team the thing is I don't I don't know what I, I get I understand I agree with your point but I just don't know what it is that we're missing if I can be honest. No, 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 no. no. It's, 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 I think someone mentioned it. The defense hasn't been as good as it normally has. The defense has sort of weighed down um, in the last previous games and finishing has been abysmal. Like, the, in terms of decision-making in the, in the final third and execution oh, okay. in key moments, it's, 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 it's been crash. It's, it's simple. <laughs> you know? I, so, okay. I think, I think that for Allison. Wait, wait. So, who else wants to jump in on this Liverpool thing? Me, so me, talk, me. So, uh, can um, I jump in? Yeah, yeah, Somasi, then AK. Somasi. No, you know, I had a bit feeling after the FA Cup. Plus, I think, you know, about Liverpool, they're the comeback kings. And so they're very um, emotional people, and fans, and players. Let's say it's the players also, they get it from the fans. And when they when they lost four three against Man United, I I thought this mentally scarred them, and then they drew against the same team. I thought, man, they're gonna lose the next game, aren't they? They're gonna bottle it. That was my feeling. I just saw the signs. The defense looked shaky. The only players who really still playing good. Is uh, Elliot surprisingly is playing good and McAllister? The others, Van Dyke and Konate, are not looking good. Their defense is shaky and their offense has been bad since November. Uh, November around, I never thought the offense, offense was really clicking, even with, when Salah was healthy. They're just, I think, they're just missing qualities in the final fit. And, this, like Mane, Origi, Vinaldo, that's why they're game changers and they don't have them anymore. So they're, they're missing this. I think they're like just a squad. You need to, to beat Pep, you need a squad, not just 11 players to win against him. So it's just this season, it's not for them, I think. It's not A for them. Okay. Um, ultimately, to be the best team in the league, you need to be the best team in both penalty boxes. You need to be the best box defending team, and you need to be clinical with your chances. And with me, Liverpool are neither. Like, I feel like the box defending apart from VVD isn't the best. But more than that, can you please zoom into my AVI? Oh, Lord. Uh... You know, why did this guy act like frustrated when he was coming off <laughs> did you see him when he was coming off he was like oh no no no, oh, no 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 i mean yeah i, I mean you could say but you can make sense because it's like bro you know with every like striker please just because the thing about this striker you always believe that it's it'll, it'll be the next one it'll be the next one it'll be the next one it'll be the, the next one and then i'm gonna get it right so 
afterwards. So, but yeah, like okay. even he has realized that yeah, I, it wasn't it. But okay, he was yeah. he wasn't he was the only guy missing. Yeah, him, not just him, Jota. Salah I expected to score, missed. Salah, same thing. That Jones Curtis. miss was that Jones miss was disgraceful, Horrible. man. No, 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 no that Jones miss. It's it's made no sense. It's, it's literally. I, I still don't understand how he missed it. Yeah, I mean. I mean, we're, I mean, there's a lot of things with Liverpool, man, that were so good at the start of the season, but just been unraveling since someone like a Shoboslai, who I expected a Bozo, lot of. Bozo. Let's let's be honest. Let's be honest. Shoboslai is there for Liverpool's modeling agency, not for the football club. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> someone, I mean, someone he's... told me today that they need to count uh, Shoboslai hair touches versus ball touches during the game. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's you crazy. Know, That's crazy. You know, That's rank, he had the most. He had the most, He had the highest. Uh, he had the highest expected uh, camera camera stares today. I mean, it tells you a lot. I mean, I, I, I expected a lot from him. He didn't do much. Um, I mean, Konate... Wait, 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 hold on. I know this is crazy. Wait, Rank, did Nepa take lights in Argentina? Or did your lights just, just go off? Wait, did he get a power cut? Because suddenly your lights just went off. I just thought that you, you had like Nepa like we have in, by, in Nigeria. He got, he got hit by an asteroid. <coughs> okay, AK, continue. AK, continue. <laughs> AK, continue. Oh, my God. oh my days, man. But like, yeah, I think, I think for Liverpool, it's just... It's just so it's just so disappointing, man. I mean, it's not even like they they've played badly today. Like I thought they played badly against Atlanta. They they didn't play badly, but like the chances were just they were there. They were there. They were all there. They were all there. Yet it is what it is. I mean, against United, same thing. In the in the FA Cup game against United, same thing. They they brought United back into that game, so it's like. Either your defense has to be so so good that even if you miss many chances, you're still amongst you're still top. Which let's be honest, no defense can be that good. Or the easier thing, you have to take your chances, and it's a far 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 you know, it's a far cry from Salah, Firmino, Mane. Now it's a Diaz, Nunes, Gakpo. Like, bro, these attacking signings haven't been it. Like, yeah, no, no, yeah, it's, it's, it's it. they're not been it, bro. Like, like, not one of them has actually really, really, really hit <laughs> properly. Yeah. Man. Um. So, anyone else on your boy Kloppo and then Liverpool? All right, let me quickly hit the Binsky man. Shout out to your boy, um, Half Hope Snow Bonnets. Klopp isn't managing Spurs. He managing he managed effing Liverpool. Eighteen Premier Leagues and five CLs. One Premier League and one CL. Not enough. Nine years. In nine years, Liverpool fans standard equals happy to be there. Fergie took over United, seven Premier Leagues and one CL. Yeah, look, I mean, this is actually a good segue because... It's called contact. Can I go on club? Okay, got look, go, go for club, go for one club. I mean, I mean, look, on this whole thing, do you think club has underachieved? Mm. He has to be disappointed with what no. he achieved. But like... He didn't. No, it's like... Wait, no, 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 got look, no, got look, got look, got look, got Don't you remember that 18-19 season? We got 97 points. But then it's like, you didn't win the, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't win the league, it though. It's, it's great, but you did it. Or streets, and streets. He Two weeks ago, a certain, a certain Nigerian with glasses put on his League Cup re, uh, preview calling my goat, El Santo, Darwin, Gabriel, Nunes, Ribeiro, of Artigas Uruguay, a bum. He called him a bum. Mind you, mind you. No, Sumasi, Suma, Sumasi, I'm coming to you next. Sumasi, Sumasi don't go anywhere. Sumasi don't go. Today, today, today has answered my prayers because I told people that this guy will come good. I don't know how. And of course, he has his days. In a way, he's like a Jekyll and Hyde type of player where he has. All right. I'm just gonna be there. Um, this guy. I is told you he's a bum. This guy is somebody's goat, and yes, he did say he does have a Jekyll and Hyde moment. So I, I mean, it turns out. Wait, 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 which one is the bad one, Hyde or Jekyll? I think Hyde. 
Hyde, yeah. Look, I, th- I, th- I think he's, he's more Hyde, bro. <laughs> he's, he's, he's maybe like Jekyll for like four, three or four, 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 four days, you know. But the rest of the times, <laughs> look for um, club. Look, let's just say those who you see. This is this is who club is. I test merchants like us who were there and watched him, who appreciates what he has done, and competing with him. Um, 419 or 115 or whatever. 419, 419, 419. Um, pep people. But the stats merchants of the future will not respect this guy in the Premier League. Okay? Because they will see it as this guy stayed there for almost a decade and he only had one trophy to show for it. One major. Hey, but so one Premier League, one UCL. One Premier League, one UCL to show for it. And it will say that you lost in the Europa League final in 2016. You lost in the final Champions League in 2018. Lost in the final in 2022, and uh, you've come second. Basically, silver or second place is basically like his legacy in Liverpool. No offense, but that's just the truth. Now, as for style of play and what this guy can do, and maybe the resources he was given, he's an amazing manager. We knew this from Dortmund. We knew this from Dortmund. This guy, and what he has won for Liverpool is great. It's just that. That's why I said this whole do it for club thing. You know who? You know what um, Liverpool remind me of? Mm. 2014 Brazil. Where they just going? Gatlock. 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 When they? It's, 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 here's my thing. Like, so again, this is now. This is not me showing a bit of my, my age. So my first World Cup was World Cup 94. And before every game, Brazil pretty much would basically hold their hands to come out. Yeah, that, but that was the start of every game. The difference in 2014 was Brazil did that just for that Germany game because of Neymar. And these guys, Neymar, who was a prepubescent child, held up his jersey. A whole Brazil holding up Neymar's jersey. God, look, at the moment I knew that they would lose. Now, I didn't know that they would be down 5-0 after two, two minutes. But I didn't know that they would lose. We'll continue. No, nah, yeah, but that's the thing, man. And I don't know what it is with um, um, Liverpool captain sleeping anyhow, but anyway. For Liverpool this season, like they say, it's, it's best not to let the Carabao Cup be his farewell trophy. Because, to be fair, that's the only trophy they really have heritage in, in a sense. They've won it the most times. They're out in the FA Cup. And let's be honest, when you lose to your rivals in United, it will hamper you. That's the reason why I asked that you have a lot to look out for because you have a lot of rivals coming up. For Liverpool, losing this against um, Crystal Palace, it was coming, like Rank said, it was coming. Their games were just on vibes, if we're being honest. They'll go down one goal and then they'll come back to win like 2 1 or something. That's how they were going. It's not something sustainable. And as for Klopp's whole entire tenure for Liverpool, it is good. Like I said, based on what we've watched, his game has been interesting. He has challenged City, but at the end of the day, he still came second. Say what you want about it, he still came second. I mean, no offense to if we if, if we want to compare it to Leverkusen in a sense, they've gotten the job done, although that's just one season. Mm. As for City. Liverpool is the only team that actually challenged them. You could say that Liverpool. No, no, I, I think, and I think that's see, that's why I almost understand why Klopp is quitting. Because let's be real, if Klopp, let's say, had won more Premier League titles, he wouldn't because because Klopp is like I'm expending so much energy, but to lose it so so close is crazy. I know, and and the sad thing is, Wikipedia is going to be harsh on Klopp's Liverpool legacy exactly. because. Wikipedia doesn't come with context. Can you click on my we, avatar? Can you click on my Yeah. So I said, that's, that's, that's crazy. But it's 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 madness. <laughs> because... Be oh, wow. <laughs> no, oh, no, 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 that's be, evil, be, man. That's evil. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Because, it's, 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 see, my thing, though, is that the reality, Gatlock, is that all it will say is of, of Pep's dominance. Is history really going to remember how well Pep's rival was? Or how good the second team was? Not really. Now Liverpool fans will remember, yes, it does. but holistically, will you remember? Oh, that team that came so close to City. Now, 
they'll be remembered when, when you tell the city story, you'll be like, hey, this was this guy that, that came close to me. But it's not the way you'd want to be remembered up like, hey man, we were the guys that, you know, so Liverpool are just there just to enhance and augment the, the Pep story. Yeah. They're not really standing on their own two feet, which is yeah. unfortunate. It's like the Real Madrid team under the Messi era of Barcelona, who always kept on coming second in, to Barcelona. If they did not win the Champions League, how remembered would they be? No, 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 basically, yeah. if that Real team didn't win, let's, let's say that Real team never won one all those UCLs, they'd just be, they'd just be an appendage and a side chick to Barca's dominance and Barca's story. So they'll just be the side chick in Barca's documentary. Which is sadly what Liverpool are. As much as it's a great achievement of what they've done, mm -hmm. and we, like I said, I just mentioned, we would appreciate what Klopp has done throughout the entire years he's been here. The fact is still the fact that you only won one in this many years. And that's the testament to Pep, in a sense. So, 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 Ricardo, you agree, agree or disagree, like, of what, what Klopp's legacy is, is, is looking like? Uh, I, I agree with a bit of what yeah, like I say. I think, generally speaking, you are right that on Wikipedia is not going to look favorable, but we don't, judge, we don't judge football on Wikipedia, for being honest. If that's Some the case, people then, do. Then, well, who cares about those people? Um, if that's the case, then Dixie Dean might be the greatest striker the world has ever seen. And he is, so. Well, he's not, but okay. um, no, anybody who was alive to witness it, who saw what Liverpool was before the arrival of Klopp, the what Liverpool were in a, in a grand scheme of like, what, 30 years or so. I remember growing up, the biggest memory I've heard about Liverpool, I'll be honest, was them winning that Champions League against Milan, the comeback. And uh, you hear the name of Steven Gerrard, uh, the transfer of Fernando Torres to our Chelsea, and Luis Suarez. That's literally all you knew about Liverpool before Jurgen Klopp. Okay, this was a team it's that cool. was this was a team that was consistently not challenging for the title because during those times in the early 2000s, it was Chelsea, Arsenal, and mainly Manchester United. I mean, like they came close with Benitez. There was one year they came close with Benitez oh, when, oh, when oh, Torres oh, went oh, to oh, crazy. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 nine. Okay. Yes, sure. One year. Okay. Was this this, uh, oh, when oh. Benitez had his packs round? Yeah. Lost yeah. His mind. Yeah. yeah. Where, where he brought up like, like, like receipts. Yeah. yeah. Ricardo, continue, Ricardo, Ricardo. So, Liverpool for this time, they are a historically massive club, not only in England, but in Europe. Okay. Historically, there's a lot of historically great clubs that are no longer relevant anymore. AC Milan is probably one of the better examples. I hate to say it, they're not really that relevant. And when you talk about the big dogs, uh, who are other teams? Even want to go really far back, like before even our time. You know, Aston Villa was one of the founding members of the, I believe, of the yeah. FA. Like there are historic clubs. Liverpool is one of the those historic clubs that found a resurgence under this manager. So, the way I see it, yes, you would obviously say that. Well, they didn't win the Premier League title. They only won once. You know, if you want to be honest, the only reason why they have a Champions League is because Longley, PK, Alba, and Semedo decided to blow a three-goal lead <laughs> and then yeah. they answer your beans on him. Real, like, to me, what he has done in the was it, eight years he's been there, I think, <laughs> he's done a magnificent job. I mean, what more could you really have asked from? Like, yes, you're going to have dips in the stories. And, you know, unfortunately, when you're going up against an absolute juggernaut, uh, not only Pep Guardiola, but, you know, the Man City thing, you know, the 150 charges doesn't really matter. But um, you lost the league in, I believe the the, re the average amount of points you need to win a Premier League title is like 82 or 83. I believe mm. that's the stat. How many times has Liverpool surpassed that and not won the Premier League? I'll say this: If Man City, yeah, if Man City never existed, this would have been Liverpool's era. Oh, for sure, a Liverpool dynasty. That's can't a really big say, That you can't you can't really say that, and you have to look at when Klopp took the team, who they had, bro. They had like Balotelli. I watched the Balotelli. They had uh, Borini, I think. Um, Sturridge. Well, Sturridge was decent, but like they had a lot of meme aspects. Andy, Andy, and Andy Carroll shots on the Carroll. 
they had a lot of these like meme ass players. He turned it around. He ended up losing Coutinho in the process. Who I know you don't rate him highly, but I personally do. On the Liverpool, he was magnificent. He um Liverpool were just like a year or two away after they had lost their best player, which was Luis Suarez. Steven Gerrard retired. Like they they were never this team that historically have or had best players. They've had great teams. They have a, and so this was no different. So Klopp. Like, in my opinion, he's done an A-plus job. People, the perception of Liverpool to now, to before he got there, nobody was ever saying Liverpool is one of the big teams in Europe. They were one of the big historical teams, yes, for sure. They're the biggest mm -hmm. team. People were having that conversation like, yeah, Manchester United surpassed them. But now, can we, it's almost we're entertaining that conversation. Like, well, Liverpool, you know, they're decisively number one. They're one of the big teams in Europe, so... But they don't, we don't we don't put Liverpool back in those conversations without Jurgen Klopp. So you can say, yeah, he's came second more than he's came first. But when you add context, like, to me, he's been successful at Liverpool, regardless if it's only one Premier League title and one Champions League. All right, let me touch upon your your, your boy here, man. Um, so... Uh, can we... you play that um, CT CT clip? Oh, no, 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 don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll play several times during this whole thing. I mean... <sighs> Is like Elijah? Is this is this is this the Pep era? Like, is is this really like Pep really? Just, like, of what happened? Is Pep really about to turn this into a Farmers League? It's it, it's kind. Of, are we? Is this now the Pep subject? Yeah, this this this, this is the okay. Pep subject. Oh my God! Let's yeah. talk after like. No, be, so the thing can is. I talk after Samasi. Can, can I speak after my goal? The thing is, with Josep Guardiola. The thing that, that, that really, I'll give him his credit. I'll give him his credit that he is that, he is that guy. He's that CD, guy. CD, CD. But then the normal football fan, the understanding football fan, will always have but. But there's this. There's that. I'm not going to discredit him for what he does, but I always have a thing for those who are behind the scenes for him. Does that make sense? Ooh. So you're saying he has help. HH, well, when you, you got to win, you, to, to win, you got to, you, you know, you got to, you know, you know, have, have some, some, you know, yeah, you know, that, that moolah, that moolah, that money, <laughs> that cash, you know, like, Wait, so, so Elijah, you don't want to, you don't want to give this guy his credit. CD, CD, CD. I will give HH. I will give where credit is due. I will, I, like I said, I will give him his credit. I will give him his credit because, from a tactical aspect and from a playing on the field aspect, it's insane to be winning. If he came in six, he came in six, end of sixteen, seventeen, and to now, it's going to be seven years. In seven years, this guy's won the league six times. What? Yeah, I mean, it's like it's crazy dominance, bro. Because in, this, in, in the so-called best toughest league in the world, so because I give him a pass, for, I give him a pass in fifteen, sixteen, obviously, and sixteen, seventeen, because obviously he had just got there and he had to bring in his pieces. I thought a lot of people also do and tend to forget that. When managers come in, why managers take so long to succeed is that they have to bring in their own pieces, obviously. Now, Pep came in and brought in his own pieces. 17, 18, this guy is cooking straight away, immediately. Centenary, centenary season, you know, centurions, stuff like that. Fortunately, it, doesn't do, it, didn't, it didn't end so well in the Champions League. That's down the third. But 18, 19, domestic trouble. Never been done before. Not only just that. You win the FA Cup final 6-0. That hasn't been done in over 100 years. The next year, yeah, it was eh, injuries, this, that, and the third. Give it to him. 2021, yeah, of course, second place team had some injuries, but from start to finish, he was the best team in the league. 21-22, best team in the league. 22-23, best team in the league. Best team in Europe. Best team in the world. Already, so yeah, it's yeah, so yeah, because I, I think at this rate, at this rate, it's going to be six and seven. That's me. Yeah. Unless, unless by divine intervention, 
Arsenal or Liverpool wins the league. By the and, and, and also like six and seven in the Premier League is insane. And, and yeah, Adrian, yeah, that's yeah. why I'm saying. That's why I'm saying. I go back to Bro, United have done it. I mean, they... no, no, no. Hold on. No, they haven't. No, 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 because 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 I've because I actually went and checked. Um, the most yeah, they, they did, I think, was five and six, but they didn't do six and seven. But six and uh, seven. The thing was, no. so I go back. I go back. I'm a I'm a Wikipedia I I F H S S merchant, where I just go back and just re read reread the stuff. Yeah, man. How far now? You look <laughs> now. <laughs> I look at the three the three dominant. I even say four or five because Arsenal. Mm. I put Arsenal in there. I put Chelsea in there. Liverpool from the 70s and 80s, they won basically 12 and 17. Not their fault. United was 13, technically, and 20. Then there's Man City, who technically is going to do six and seven. If Pep came earlier, this guy could have done eight and nine. Yes. Nine and 10. 10 and 12, if he wanted to. And, 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 and also, you see, 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 Ledger, you see Ledger, you're going to a very key point here because. That is why I believe that Pep wants to say because Pep is about legacy. Exactly. And and Pep knows that there's that Fergie thing that's going around. So Pep is like, no, wait, I want to so succeed that it's going to be difficult for people to put Fergie ahead of me. So and also, because, 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 because Pep will be like, okay, fine. You could do the whole 115. I spent money. Fergie built their own team by scratch. But Pep wants to be like, I would have so succeeded and so castrated this league, <laughs> it's going to be very hard for you to now put that geriatric ahead of me. And not even just that, it's also going to be difficult for another person to come in and try to attempt to do the same thing. No, 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 no. Elijah, forget that. It's not about that. It's about Fergie. What oh, Pep course. wants to, to do is, anybody still think that Fergie is better than me, you're going to look stupid. Because... I'm about to do six and seven, which could now be seven and eight, which could now be eight and nine. I'm about to do even more trebles. More, more, because if he now does a treble, remember, Fergie only got one treble. I'm not going to do six and seven, two trebles. I broke the gold record. I broke and the conservative wins domestic, record. And you have a domestic treble. Yeah, and a domestic yeah. treble as well. No, so, hold on, H -H. Yeah. Not just that. He's winning playing his style. Because remember what he said when he first came. Yes. That's, that's the thing. So, and, and, and because... Let's, let's be real. Fergie's great thing was, wow, look at what, how you're able to win. Fergie didn't have a style. And Fergie kept on switching his style with, with different teams, which is why you can say that was Fergie's thing was his adaptability. Pep, and the good point is what Gatlock made. Remember that first season. Hey, you can't win playing the football here. Playing his own brand of football that other people have copied and failed. Blah, 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 he has totally giving birth to this league is giving birth to the league and that's why i and that's why in a way that's why i can understand people saying that the the covid title is is and i i i'll even say this as much as i appreciate that COVID title because that was one of the biggest moments in my life as a football fan but if that doesn't happen we're sitting in a world where this guy has already done for them the guy may have already is on the is on the path of doing five in a row. You know what I'm saying? Jesus like it's, it's it's very that's why I'm saying what he's doing now is scarier than United from with the guys but, from back in the day. Oh no, no, one hundred percent. It's a big because he said my thing is that okay, we can look like. I don't know about the Liverpool the sense because I wasn't there, but I lived that United era. And that it was a case of like this guy's kind of lose. But the difference between that United and this city is the level of dominance exactly. that this team have and in the way in which they're playing. And just their total the chokehold they have on this league is unlike what Fege had. Fege was just that like, these guys are just winning. City is the way in which they're winning, and they seem almost invincible. Where they seem like if these guys are playing at a level completely different to everyone else. And exact and another exact Hamza brings oh, the yeah. perfect point. How many teams in the Pep era have actually beaten embarrassed Pep on a field, on a pitch? I only remember one time in which Liverpool beat City at City 4-1. That was the only time I remember that. That's one of the few times I've seen City under Pep 
being dominant. No, no, but, but, but you know what was so scary? Because see, my thing is this. I, I'm interested to know how long people here. Because see, this, this is what is very scary, guys. Let's do the math here. Pep is Catalan. Like, because I remember when I was working for a TV studio and I was covering the whole thing with Spinner and Catalonia, his sister, yeah, his sister is actually part of the Catalonian government and she was actually like arrested and all things. And he actually gave a speech when Catalonia wants to secede. He's never coaching Spain. So that's that's never happening. And I don't see what other national team he will coach unless things change in Barca and Laporta gets liposuction. I don't know how he, he goes back to Barcelona. So I, I'll be real. I think he goes to Italy or PSG. I think he goes to PSG? France. Or Italy. P- yeah. I, I don't see for me PSG. Likes- how and why? And also remember, I you have to understand what PSG is about. The thing is, he he has no, no. said once that like he wants to coach all over. He wants to coach in like different leagues. So but, no, 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 no. But okay, I'm, I'm telling you, Renat, in Germany and England. That may have been before, but I think what he sees with with City is. Oh, this is dominance my way. Like yeah, I yeah. can really, I can because that may have been true before. But it's like, wait a minute, I have all the resources, I have the full power. I'm looking at the landscape, and the key thing right now, which was I always got onto him, when I win, I get the credits. Exactly. It ain't messy. It ain't that. This is it's a team built fully in my image where I have full carte blanche control. And Pep is looking at that, bro. I can dominates Europe for years. And this is why I want to bring this in. This is the Premier League. This is England. This is the creme de la creme. What if this guy does five in a row, six in a row, seven in a row? Because doing that in the Premier League is a bigger flex than doing that in the Bundesliga because this is the most popular league in the world. Imagine doing six or seven in a row in the most popular league in the, in the world. Syria, was like Syria in the late 90s and early 2000s, maybe, but even Syria in the late 90s did not have the branding and the marketability and the popularity as the Premier League. Imagine if I'm the manager that was the first to do six, seven, eight in a row in the most popular league in the world. That kind of legacy speaks volumes. Wait. You doing that in Ubris doesn't mean anything. But, but, but again, hmm. and I always say this, and we all have come to a consensus, even the streets. Great, he's succeeding. We'll give him to that. I'll give you Pep. Congrats, you are that dude. But one thing I always ask: Could you be able to do that if you didn't have some people behind you? No. No, no, no. Because because here's the thing: Nobody is perfect. No one is perfect. And when you see when all is said and done, Fergie will only have one thing over Pep. Pep will beat Fergie in every regard. Every regard. The only thing Fergie will have over Pep is Fergie built that team from scratch. Exactly. So Pep can't do what Fergie did in terms of Nicky Botts, <laughs> Poboski, Kanchelskis, <laughs> the Neville brothers. These guys are bombs. So he got these streets, <laughs> he took these street sweepers and won a Premier League title with guys who sell fruits. <laughs> so. No, so, HH. Uh, no, HH. No. No, because what? here's a simple thing. I've seen you absolutely, I've, I've seen you castrate um, Kevin De Bruyne. I've seen you absolutely slam Erling Holland. I've seen you slam multiple City players. Now you're telling Erling me, Holland oh, he has so, he, oh, oh, now you're telling me, oh, oh, it's only Erling because Erling Holland is not Nicky Button, the Neville Provost. No, 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 no. Okay, see, okay, and that's the keeper that somebody made. As trash as Haaland is, I say he's a, just a bad footballer, but I said he's a great goal scorer. My thing with KDB is he's overrated. There's a difference between overrated and being Na- Nicky Botts. Oh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> like Nicky Botts is a fruit. I've never called De Bruyne a fruit seller. I said that. I don't think he's as good as people make him out to be, but he's still talented. And he ain't like those bombs that Fergie had. <laughs> Like, no, no, you're, you're, AK, you're there was a point that, why yeah, they, they said that you can't win with, with kids. Okay, you're, but, okay, wait, continue, AK. you're saying that because Pep cannot win with the so-called lesser players, mm. he should not be in the same category as Fergie. My no, point, no, 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 this is no, AKC, you, you can't misquote me. Well, I said that Fergie will only have, when all is said and done, Pep is going to beat Fergie in every regard apart from yeah. one thing. The only one he thing that he that he will not have over Fergie is how Fergie was able to build that team from scratch through mid players, 
who won nothing before he got there. City won a title before he got there. They, like all those guys won a title with, with Pellegrini. Before he got there, those are just a bunch of kids and United had not won for years bef before Fergie got, got there. Hence why he struggled in the opening years because United had not won for years before he, he got there. Similar to Cruyff and, and Barcelona in the UCL. Oh, so the so. only thing Fergie will have is he builds that team. Apart from that, Pep is going to clear Fergie in every yeah, regard. But Pep, uh, yeah. Pep did build the City team as well. Like we can't just ignore that. Like he's yeah. built, okay, he's but built they the won city. the league already. No, no, okay, you no, can't. They, they haven't done it with the level of dominance that yeah, this already. team has. Yeah, so, no, 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 okay, wait, 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 so, okay, so, okay, so, okay, you're saying that how Pep built this team no, is, the, saying, is is to the same degree of no, difficulty I'm, I'm as to what Fergie did. I'm not saying it's the same degree of difficulty. I'm just saying that okay, Fergie probably built his team from a more say. Uh, there was a well, Fergie took over a worse team, fine, but you can't just say Pep took over this incredible team and continuous. Like, he built the city team, he didn't just take over an incredible team. They won a title, but they didn't do it with the dominance that Can they're doing something? it now, and they're not anywhere near the level in Europe that they are now. Now, City are pro we're saying that City can win the Champions League every year, we weren't saying it then. And that's with the team that Pep Guardiola built. Okay, 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 okay. let me come to rank. Don't come to Smarcy. After rank, then Smarcy. So rank. I go after Smarcy. Yeah. So, so rank. Where you are to this whole Pep thing? Um. Well, I'm kind of on on the fence because I reckon that Pep is probably the superior manager, and uh, I agree with you that his accolades would probably look a lot better in the future compared to Ferguson. I just rate uh, Fergie a lot higher because I feel like he's the person that brought united into this conversation for the biggest club in england because i feel like if if it wasn't for ferguson we wouldn't even be having this, this discussion mm. um so that's what i read about ferguson and obviously that he built it from from the ground up like you were saying and that city already had a, a very important basis that yes pep then brought in all these other players that he thought could fit into his system and that's where i bring up that Haaland point that you had that Haaland is probably not a great footballer but he's a great goal scorer and that's all that Pep needs. Pep doesn't need footballers, he needs players that can fit into the system. We can see that, for example, with Jack Grealish, Jack Grealish is barely even a footballer anymore, he's a piece in a system and that's how Pep is implementing all these players. It's all about the tactics, it's all about the system and it's not about expression anymore, it's about winning and the players pay attention to that because they win. The players apply to what Pep asks them to do because they win. And that's all they want to build a legacy so uh, that's why even with these players that you criticize and that maybe aren't as good as we think as pure footballers they work under pep because they fit what he wants and that's all that matters in the end and that's a testament to his great coaching as well that he can bring these players that maybe aren't as talented as others but can feel into that position that he needs to make everything work like a clock and that's uh, outstanding by Pep. I really rate him, but I will always have a, a something special for Fergie because it was just incredible what he achieved. Sebastian. Who, first of all, Man City put the structure in before they brought Pep so Pep could succeed? That's one part. And who who has Pep to compete compete with? Chelsea? No, they were done after Conte left. The only team that competed uh, with uh, Pep was Liverpool. That's just one team. And they Speaking. couldn't win. Really. And Fergie had to compete with Uncle Mu in his prime with Chelsea and still won against him. Prime Arsene Wenger and still won against him. And an element city team okay so there's i think there's not comparable pep if pep is the one of maybe the best uh league manager in the world but he's not fair uh fergie because literally fergie with the structure almost everything about man united he built that's why they're not uh, the same since he left um, Nomad, talk to me. Pep. 
and him about to make the same farmers league yeah i mean uh the thing is uh we must think about this that is this a farmer league because he's so good or is it a farmer league because others are so bad you know as samasi said i'm uh, you see, sorry i'm i'm a sith we have to Pep is going to go down as one of the greatest league managers ever now there's an asterisk because of money spent, FFP, 115 charges. But when you look at what he did in La Liga, what he did in the Bundesliga, and what he's doing right now, there's a resume that his tactic and his philosophy is very effective for a 38-game season and a campaign. Hence why he's done so well within a, a, a league. So yes, we can criticize the Premier League, but it just shows you how good he is. But the thing no matter is, I keep hearing the Premier League, best league in the world, best league in the world, best league in the world. And he did his best to do four in a row and has broken the goals record. He's broken the consecutive wins record. He's won a domestic treble. He's won a treble already and could do a back-to-back -back trebles. You can't tout a thing as a Premier League when a guy is pretty much breastfeeding yeah, your no, whole no. league. No, but it, you're taking the whole thing that is the best league in the world seriously. It shouldn't. That's the thing. What you're saying is that it is the best league in the world. And even then he is dominating, that means he's the best. That's not the case. It's not the best league in the world. He doesn't have as much competition. That's why he's able to dominate using all the funds he has at his disposal. That's the reality. And so that's why that 115, hashtag 115, hashtag 115 lives all over social media. That was That is always going to be the case until that FFP case gets resolved. And no matter how many trophies he wins, you know, fans of other clubs are always going to say, "We did it the right way. We did it the we did it the right way." You know that that's maybe it's an excuse because it is tactically he's he is one of the best coaches. I mean, in my opinion, he's an absolute gutter trash man manager, absolute worthless and pathetic man manager in my you know in my estimation, but. Uh, as far as a tactician, he's one of the best tacticians in the world. Definitely the best of his generation, one of the best of all time. So, again, in the league, maybe you can use all the money you can to build the team that you want and, you know, uh, stat pad against a lesser opposition in an era where you don't have much competition. That, that I'm sorry, AJ, that doesn't make you the GOAT. In England, maybe, because for English people, English football is football. But outside of England, uh, there are a lot no, of no, people but, who but, are going but, to rate but, a lot but of nomad, managers more. But Nomad, winning a league with 98 points, when a team in second got 97 what points... Kind of the last... What kind of a league? What kind of a league? Against I'll, what kind of no, league? No, 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 Nomad, I'll say it again. <laughs> winning the league with 98 points and the team in second got 97 points, that takes a incredible level of effort if a team puts you to the last day of the season and forces you to get 98 points and they and you only won by a, a, a point hence why pepper said that his greatest ever win in his entire career was that 98 point season based on just how good they had to be because of how good liverpool were like i, yeah, think, we, I think we did it that that might be the highest points total of a first and second team of the major leagues that have ever been 98 points and 97 points yeah but then again again you can see it the opposite way now, isn't that an indictment on the rest of the 18 teams you no no that you they've given as much points to those teams you can see no no, no you can see that that's way boss you can see it in terms of this team forced us to get 98 points so it's the, it's it's so it's it can you it can it can work both both ways, but you can still say that this team took us to the last day of the season and forced us to get ninety eight points, two shots of a hundred, <laughs> which in any league is crazy. Exactly. Ninety eight points in any league is freaking crazy. Yeah, so exactly. So you can look at their performance and you can say that he excelled, or you can look at the context, you can look at the circumstances and say that he's overrated. So you know, it's the glass half full, glass half empty kind of a situation here. If you like him, you're going to support him. And if you don't like him or you support another club, you're going to say 115 lives. And that's the case. And that's going to be. And also, in my opinion, the Alex Ferguson is overrated. As well. two, two Champions Leagues in a quarter of a century. Alex Ferguson. Two Champions Leagues in a quarter of a century. 
So when it comes to European football, Pep already has a better legacy than. Yeah, so yeah. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. So Ricardo, where you was with the whole wait, wait, Pep thing? Wait, wait. Before, before Ricardo goes, do you know the hilarious thing about whenever Numa talks? What the guy can be so negative that HH now starts supporting the guy that he's actually. <laughs> <laughs> Ricardo, talk about your boy Pep, man. Well, what's the what's the point of the question? No, 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 no. So, so basically, my thing though is, are we seeing with with club about to leave, City about to pretty much win? Are we now going to see Pep do in the Premier League what Bayern have done in the Bundesliga, like a level of dominance the likes of which this league has, has ever seen, the most popular league in the world? That clearly the, it depends on what Arsenal is about. If Arsenal wants to still fool around playing games and not take this serious, yeah, Pep's going to have his way as he's already been having. Look, I, I've heard a lot of people say what they want to say about Pep. Uh, like I said earlier, y'all hate on greatness. Y'all never give the credit where the credit is due. Y'all only going to start being nice to him once he hangs it up. Y'all going to be like, finally, this motherfucker had a chokehold in the Premier League. Finally, he's like, not maybe everybody can eat. As far as I'm aware, as long as this guy's been manager, <clears throat> Jose Mourinho ate once when he was at Barcelona. <laughs> Antonio Conte ate once. And then he left, fell off. And then Klopp ate Wait, once. I, I couldn't mention Mourinho's 100 goals points, like his, his yeah, record yeah. when he yeah, won. Yeah, he ate, he ate, he ate. Yeah. That's what I said. He ate. I, 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 no, he ate well. He ate well. He ate well. Thank and you. then, like Conte fell off, Mourinho, yeah. Uh, and Klopp is about to leave. I hope nothing but the best for his future. Under Fergie, how many times did Arsene Wenger eat? Three times. Under Fergie, how many times did Mourinho eat? Two times. In the Champions League, in the final, how many times did Pep Guardiola eat? Two oh times. My oh my god, I knew Can you, it's list me? Can you list me any other managers that ate in Ferguson's time? Uh, Benitez for his UCL, Wenger, maybe a couple leagues, or three leagues. Uh, Ancelotti, Milan. Ancelotti had some. Damn, so it's almost like, it's almost like Ferguson was Jesus and the 12 disciples were there to all eat with him. Jesus. All right, look. That's oh, my God. <laughs> it. Speak on it. Speak on it. Right, speak on look, it. look. We're not going to give the guy credit because we're in the midst, in the midst of a greatness right now, right? We're in the midst of a lot no, of greatness. No, we're in the, no, 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 be quiet. I'm talking. We're in the midst of a Kylian Mbappe masterclass. We're in his era. We're in the midst of the Pep era. We're in the midst of the Drizzy era. We're in the midst. We're wait, wait the Ricardo. I'm cooking. I'm cooking. I'm cooking. I'm cooking. Kendrick I'm cooking. hasn't dropped his. You're well, freaking Canadian. Until then. Until okay. then, we're in the Drizzy era. We've been How in the Drizzy doing, era, by the way. We're in the Drizzy era. What are you talking about? We're still in the Drizzy era. So you yes. cry about it. That's messed up. <laughs> we, in, we in the Taylor Swift era. We, we're on the end of the LeBron James era. It was gonna look. It's just gonna look beautiful when it's all said and done. All right? You don't have to give him his credit now. That's fine because you're not going to. It's okay. But when it's all said and done, when he walks away from this bum ass fish and chips, beans on toast, marmalade, wow. and bread league. Wow. <laughs> no cap, I, no cap. I look forward to trying beans on toast, bro. <laughs> look. <laughs> You're very chill, 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 chill. <laughs> I'm telling you. Y'all are y'all are gonna you're not you're not gonna miss it. I, I get it. Y'all are gonna miss it. And look, the, the best thing about this, the best thing about this is that that he's doing this with a team that doesn't have a commanding fan base. Could you imagine if he did this with Liverpool or Manchester United or Arsenal? Wait, hold on. So you're not repping Patrick and Vader? Let's be honest. Wow. <laughs> honest. Wow. That's messed up, bro. <laughs> Well, that's messed up. I'm clipping. And that's getting clipped. I'm that's getting saying, clipped. Is he lying? Is he lying? He's lying. He's lying. He's lying. Look, I can understand if you're a United fan as a little boy, they were winning. That's fine. You're still you're suffering now. There's a lot of them in, in this that you know commonly come into this hangout. There's some Arsenal fans. As long as I've known Arsenal fans, they've been loyal. There's some Chelsea guys right there. They're a little bit older than the, you know, Man City fans. Their values align the same. 
And they're mostly black for some reason. Even though they're yeah, uncomfortable combos. Yeah. Combos. yeah. Lord have mercy. There was a guy who said that I am a Chelsea fan before I'm I'm a black man, but continue. We're kind of good talk. <laughs> yeah, the guy is okay. in Marcos. Look, before I'm black, I'm Chelsea. Ricardo, look, keep talking. Y'all can Ricardo, say one fifteen, and look, I agree. One fifteen, I agree. All right, even they're not going to get found guilty. Let's be honest. Obviously, obviously not. So obviously not. So they're obviously. not. Let's give it a bean. They're not going to be found guilty. Also, Negrero. You can say also Negrero. I mean, if it helps you cope, that's fine. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's God been relax. It's scary hours for a lot of Madrid fans going out, but okay, the trauma. No, no, scary. Ricardo Negrero scores five goals against them when we beat them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I forgot, forgot. Scored five. Yeah, 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 focus on Girona. Focus that, on Girona. That name is risky. <laughs> No, it's the it's the, the the PTSD from the childhood days coming. Yeah, up. Focus but, on Jerome. Yeah. Um. Anyways, look when it, when it's all said and done, it is what it is. He's gonna go down as the greatest. You guys better hope. You better hope. Chavi Alonso is the next man. And look, Chavi Alonso has everything. He dresses well. He looks good. He's a professional. He was a baller. He was a better baller than Pep Guardiola ever was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, was, he, was, he, was, he, was. he yeah, plays yeah. great football. You better hope Chavi Alonso is your guy to unseat Pep Guardiola because if he's not, don't give me this bullshit hypocrite because he's he plays very systemic football too. Something we hate on Pep Guardiola as well. And look, yeah, yeah, but 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 Pep's really annoying. But Pep's really annoying. Pep's really annoying. Yeah, it's it's annoying because he's does winning. Jeff, hold on, does Jeff no, no. come from the? It's um, no, no, no. He acts humble and has a massive. I, HH, I sent you something yeah, in no, the no, DMs. No, no, wait, wait, hold on. What is what is that? Ricardo, consider Ricardo, Ricardo, Ricardo. Well, of course, Chavi Lonzo is gonna be humble. You know, he doesn't have no, no, I th- the I'm managerial accolades. No, 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 look, Pep can talk shit all he wants. He's curb stomp. Y'all told him this way of playing football was not going to work in the Premier League. Y'all told him this. And he double, he, 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 he stood on business. Now he's monopolizing your league. He gained, you know, one title for club to eat just so they can say a little competition. But like how... If y'all like MMA, like Daniel Cormier said, when you got his fucking front tooth kicked in by John Jones, if you that lose, was hilarious. First, if if you lose the first, if you lose two times, it's not really a rivalry. It's it's not a rivalry. It's never been a rivalry. It was never going to be a rivalry for parameters that we obviously are not fair, aka the financials. But regardless, Wikipedia is only gonna remember winners. So Pep Guardiola. You say you didn't care about Wikipedia. No, no, I know, but for some people who do. It's there for them. At the end of the day, yeah, like, look, history is going to be sweet for Pedro and you're going to have to just learn to live with it. Wait, let me hear this. I sent you a DM. Can you please uh, bring it up? Wait, what's... Oh, oh no, oh, no, I can't play the video. Like, basically, it's a video of him going oh, yeah, crazy, yeah. saying all the times. Wait, wait, hold on. Let's get this done. Let's get this done real quick. So, um, shout to Half of Stone Bonnets. All the managers collect trophies. I collect relationships. Well, I think that's that's a dig at your boy club, man. Come on, that's harsh. Man. All right, guys. <laughs> um, uh-huh. KGO pal, I think club has totally changed the culture of Liverpool as a club. Trophy wise, hasn't done great, but otherwise, he's done tons. Can't pick it up. No, no, he can't. No, yes, yes, yes. Here's the thing. If you want to talk trophies, mm, if you want to just talk about about his impact, his impact has has been profound. Yeah. Guys, mm-hmm. guys, I told you, the Liverpool fans who say that they feel closer to Klopp than their own family members. Exactly. Like, the Liverpool fans that are going to be have a week of mourning when he leaves. And there's going, there's going to be some Liverpool fans who will have to be admitted into hospital because they are because they in, 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 in depressed. 100%. Shout impact, to Boy Wayne. Hold on, hold on. His impact yeah. is good, but that first, the first thing he said changed the culture. He is not changing. He didn't change the culture. No, 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 God, like, you gotta understand the court. What do you mean? He said that because prior to him, remember, it was it was that that who the, the guy I call a terrorist who's at Celtic right now, uh, uh, Brend, Brendan Rogers. Mm-hmm. And prior to Brendan Rogers, Doug Leash came as an interim where they basically gave him 18 months. They said, just win us a trophy and get into Europe. And Doug Leash was like, all right, cool. He gets them Karabuki and he gets them a Europa League quarters. Then he leaves. But prior to that, it was Roy Hodgson and Hicks and Gillett. So that culture was very right. toxic. That's why. So, so shout out to Wayne. Klopp's veneers are turning yellow. Bad 
breath merch. Wing. All right. Wing. Thank you for that wing. Thank you for that wing. A wing. Change that area right now. Change that area right now. Um, indubitably, Zidane is a cool name merchant. If his name oh, was no, Zachi no, Zachi, no, he would no, be finished. That's correct. That's what? correct. You that's really absolutely. Why, that's why absolutely are you saying this? Did you say Zach? Did you say Zach? Is he? Is he? In it? What an idiot! Why is he saying this? Why is in the oh, so you, that... you said Zach. Zaki. I said Zaki Zaki. No, no, Zach Zaki. Okay. okay. Say that, yeah. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Josh Benson, the glazing will be crazy when um, Mbappe gets killed. Hashtag BBL. Nah, nah, he'll say we'll kill, kill it, kill it, Joss, kill it now. Josh, Josh Beston. Again, oh, Rank, I'm so glad you're here. So, Rank, say hello to Josh Beston. Josh Beston is a super Neymar fanboy. So, oh. be, so before the Copa America final, I said, uh -huh. Beston, you know, Messi has a chance to do it. And Beston was like, ah, Messi can win with Argentina, he's trash. Copa America happened. Beston was AWOL for like a year. Just Bestin, where were you in that Copa America final stream when Neymar lost in his own hometown? Where the hell were you? Hey, Bestin, look, look at this. Respect Neymar. Respect to Neymar. Yeah, res no respect to man. So, guys, you know what it is. Oh Mbappe, is a, Mbappe is about to get um, dropped up. It is what it is, man. I don't need to sue you for false advertising. I still don't know why RNI is there. Because he drops a three piece in a UCL game. Um, Wait, Chish, can I tell you something? Bar, go for it. Do you know what I don't like about your intro, right? Oh, so, God. in one instance, you have A2 and then back to back, you have corner taken quickly. I don't like <laughs> it. <laughs> That's nasty. I did, it, I, I did it for the Barca fans. I did it for the Barca fans. This way, the guy has uh, three more there, man. He, he has 2011 there, so... Um, I want to I wanna give my congrats to Barca for reaching the UCL semis. I want to give my congrats to... Uh, Sorry, um, Jinx. I want to give my... Can I give my congrats, please? I want to give my congrats, Sorry, no, give my congrats to no, City to make the UCL... So basically, guys, Barca and City might be an inclusion course. And guys, let me put it here right now. So, guys, you know what's funny? So, here's the thing right now. Guys, he's congratulating bets it. Is the teams that needs to No, 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 okay, okay. no, Barry. How much do you want to do and don't take a bet? The UCL final is either going to be City Atleti or City Barca. Fact. I I Fact. I don't bet, bro. I don't, I don't yeah, bet. Yeah, yeah. People, Haram. It, Haram. listen to this. The two teams he's congratulating are the two teams he needs to lose <laughs> for them to lose for his agendas to prosper. No, 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 no way, Barry. Man. No, 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 Barry. I have no agendas. I am merely an objective goat analyst. Yeah, and merely sure. an objective good analyst no, because no, no. Barcelona will lose. I don't get what's the agenda there. Yeah, no, so, so, you know, Mbappe, I was, no, no, I love Barca, bro. I think Kubas is the teacher oh, nine. for football. Oh, nine. Oh, nine. Oh, oh, nine. That was, that, was, that was years ago, man. It's all in the past. It's all in the past, man. Uh, why are you using oh, nine? Please, you will never let that go. You will no, never. No, 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 no. I've, I've forgiven Barca it's in the past. In the past, it's, it's called move on. I'm moving on up now. Primal Fear, great song. So, so you're no, moving on from good. 08 as well. You're moving on from 08 as well. No. Um, <laughs> so, my thing here is. He selectively moves on. Guys, we have to be real with what the solution is. Guys, we, PS, for, 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 guys, for, forget it. 
forget it. Ray, Ray Ricardo, what, what, what do you have to, to, to fear? What do you have to fear? Fear, the fear. The best what? player in the world. He's the best player in the world. Let's keep it a bean. He's the best player in the world. When you're the best but Barca the world, have proven that they're the superior team. So the last time, on, the last time, the last time Mbappe went to Barcelona's home, I know he's not coming. <laughs> he banged the hat trick. So exactly. no, that's smitten. No, let's keep it. Let's keep it honest too. Personal superior team. Okay, I get it. I don't think they're that much superior. Like last week, that was fun. We gotta have a little fun, trolling Mbappe. Ha ha ha. He he. But let's talk. Are you are you are you, are you are you playing at home in the second leg? Are you at home? No. Okay, first of all, not really. No, 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 no. Really and, and did you win the first leg three two? Okay. Listen, it the first leg doesn't the score doesn't really matter because it's not their away goals is not really there. Honestly, if if PSG score in the first five minutes, guess what? We have a zero zero game, so it doesn't really matter. They have the best player in the world, and to be fair, like we only won three two by a a margin of one, with Mbappe playing terribly, terribly. I wouldn't even say he played Terry. I'd just say he was shy. He was gun shy. Okay? Because I can respect the player. For example, like Vinicius, right? The day they lost, well, they tied against Man City, he was trying shit. He didn't play the best. He got two assists, but he was trying shit. I can respect that. And Papi was just, he wasn't, he didn't look interested that day. And I hope that. Well, the uh, fact that he got pocketed, that was, that, that was literally the whole game. He just got sure. pocketed. Yeah, but look at Right, seven the, fact that, the fact that it was 3 2 on a night where Donnarumma outdid Ter Stegen in being a bozo and Mbappe didn't <laughs> show up, it t- tells me that PSG aren't that bad of a team. They aren't bad. Dude, let me ask you a question. If Mbappe actually played well, if he was threatening, would Barcelona actually win that 3 2? I don't know. It's hypothetics. But we won with. Not with uh, the, the the star player not playing well. You can, you can say what you want. You can say, like, oh, Barcelona already have this in the bag. Hello, semifinals, Zaletti. But I don't even know if, if Zaletti is going to be Dortmund, if we're being honest. But anyways, it, it, there's still a lot to play for. It, PSG can win. They can win. If acting like it's like a 80 20, no, 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 no. It's probably a 60 40. What are you saying? What are you, what are you, what are you saying? Dude, I mean, what, he's, what, do you, what, what do you say? There's no lies detected with what Carlos saying. There's no lies. <laughs> oh my! Look, no wrong, I said it. I said I it again. It. I get it. Mbappe, no, Mbappe, no, start letting German. No, HH. I get start letting German. No, Sumasi, no, how do you say let's let's ride for the Euros in German? Man, is it he, um, Heinz? You know, Danke? No, no. Let's, let's keep it. Let's keep it. Danke, thank you. You quick. Ricardo, continue. Ricardo, continue. Ricardo, continue. Let's keep it. Let's keep. Let's keep. What the fuck? Okay, okay, okay. Gatlock. Who, oh who was that? Gosh, someone, someone imitated Samasi, and I, and I think it was Gatlock. <laughs> whoever, whoever did that, that might be a yellow. But it's just my Samassi. voice. Okay, okay. Samassi, I'm going to continue. Ricardo, continue. No, Ricardo, let's continue. Keep it on. It's like I get it. Happy. That's the AK. That's AK. That's that that was that was cringe, man. AK, that's it. We gotta continue. We gotta continue. Look, I get it. That. It can get real spooky for Mbappe. Ricardo, why aren't you excited? This is your, your first use of semi You should be happy. You and because, Barry and, and it is you should be happy. No, because the because heck, because why aren't you ready to enjoy us? Because, you won. You can, you can clown Mbappe. Well done. No, you can clown no, Mbappe no. on but Tuesday. AJ, you can call no, him a loser. AJ, no, Guys, no, save, no, your Umbe, save your own Save your own dubs for Tuesday. Oh, he's a loser. Donatello thing and so forth. You can save it for Tuesday. Wow. No. It's because, fine. No, because, he lost. Are you happy right now? He lost. His yeah, PSG yeah, career yeah. is over. He didn't win it for PSG. He did, yeah. he did commit. He did not achieve Doi for PSG. He you're, failed. He failed. Actually, Are you tickling, happy now? You're taking his balls as well. Relax, okay? The lady does protest too much. Yeah. Look, yeah. It's just you're overdoing it. I, I overdoing it. Like, you're overdoing it. Over the point that it's no, actually dude. not going to work if you overdo it. <laughs> this, I, I understand why it might be spooky hours for someone like you who has certain agendas they're writing on. He Like, I get it. He needs to win. In my opinion, based on narratives, yeah, he needs to win. Like, bro, you kicked out Neymar. You wanted Neymar gone, and they did you that. This is your team now. Can we get can, you got put on the easier side of the bracket if we're being honest easier side because if, we, if you're on the other side you're, you're not touching no final 
and you might not even be touching a final here, but you're expected to. Let's be honest, PSG could make the final. If PSG beat Barcelona, I think everybody here in the streets and the panel can agree that PSG could actually make the final. Whether they win is a different yeah. conversation. He's not wrong. I mean, so he's not Mbappe, wrong. Look, th not this, is, this, so this, this is a legacy. Like, legacy like, this, 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 this just makes it so annoying that you're seeing all this crap. It hurts the truth. The truth hurts. This is a legacy game. This is a legacy game for Mbappe. Hey, Ricardo, start... No, no, hold not, on. Let me talk. Ricardo, you're not going to raise up my hopes. <laughs> <laughs> like that. So I'm not no, for your tricks, but... I'm not. I'm not trying to raise up your hopes. I'm telling you what it is. It's a legacy game. You lost the first game at home. You stunk it up. That's in the past now. That's in the past. It's in the past. We're pro we're in a UCL the final. Do you think you can beat City in a UCL final at Wembley? We'll we'll talk if we get there. Record. I asked a question. <laughs> I asked a very simple you question, and, go, I, and I want an answer. In a UCL final, do you think you can beat Pep? Are you going to beat the question... in the FA Cup? Answer. Wait. Oh no, Ricardo! First, okay, Baron, I'm gonna come to you, Ricardo. Answer the question: Can you can you beat City in a UCL final? That's all. Membley. That depends on how Catalan Pep wants to be. That's yeah. all I'm gonna say. Wow, uh, that's 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 <laughs> F top. Bro. No, but, but, no, 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 but this, 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 this is this is this is all. This is if we're talking about the legacy for the players. Forget the teams for a second, okay? This is a big game for Mbappe because the lasting narrative. Because let's be honest, he, he's gonna go to Real Madrid. He's gonna go to Real Madrid, and when he goes sure? to Re when he goes to Real Madrid, is is he gonna be the face of the team or is he just gonna be riding coattails of Vinicius Jr. and Jed Bellingham? I don't know. I don't know. So this is he your team. Not. He oh, he will. <laughs> you you <laughs> best not be your lasting image of you as the leading man. Being getting knocked out in the side of the bracket by a team you should have won while you stunk up the pitch. Don't let him score. Let him score two goals tomorrow or the day after. Because if you hit, if you goose egg twice against Barcelona and get knocked out, oh, it's okay, 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 okay. quick, 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 quick change of pace. So, um, Nomad, Nomad, let's come on, Nomad, come on, Nomad, get get real. No mud. It's what? No mud. It's 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 done. Come on. No mud. It's it's oh, done. Oh yeah, yeah. It's done. It's done. Yeah. yeah. Oh, of thank, course, thank yeah. you, thank you. All right. Thank of you. course, it's done. Of course, yeah, yeah. We have no chance. Of no, 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 no. Okay, they no, no, no mud. No, 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 no mud. I didn't need sarcasm. No mud. Be real. Wait, who's we? Who's we? <laughs> Wait, who's we? <laughs> no man, you you French now? <laughs> No, 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 no. We are, no, we're switching gears. We're, we're switching gears. We're, we're talking about Real Madrid. Real. Real, so we're switching gears. We're switching gears. So, oh, come on, no man. So, be real. Do you really believe Real Madrid can turn this around? First of all, I'd rather take my life than become French. And second of all, I'm not. Okay, you know what? Oh, my uh, God. I think, uh, that was great. That was okay, pretty you know racist. Oh. You know I think Real Madrid... Uh, they were just have a chance. Device. I do think Real Madrid have a chance. It was a joke, guys. Relax. I think yeah. Real Madrid have a chance. My feelings. I are... think Real Madrid do have a chance. What What is the percentage? What Jesus. The fuck is that? Um. What is What is the percentage chance? What is the percentage chance that um, Real Madrid have of going through? Forty percent. Forty percent. It's sixty forty. That's demand. high, dude. That's high. It I'm is like, Real Madrid. It, it is forty percent so. because yeah because if we can take it to extra time you know then it's fifty fifty in extra time it's fifty fifty. In my yeah. opinion, so as long as yeah, so as long as we um, manage to resolve it in normal time, see, see, no, then I we see, have see, a forty percent chance. Here's my thing: Jude, Jude Bellingham needs to be ultra instinct super saiyan. That's the first thing. So he needs to play better, hundred percent. And it's just that it's it's just it real. Is. Is just real is such it a is. good matchup for City. That's the problem. It's such a it good is. matchup it for is. City. It is. I'll take a. I'll take a questionable penalty by Jose Lu in the 95th minute and go one nil to the semis. <laughs> no man, please, I'm take taking that. I'll take that. I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. Bro, inject that into my veins. Inject that into my veins. But I think that adverse is going to happen. The city get a, a tricky penalty. Oh my god. Hey, no man, I got a question though for you. Alan misses and scores. Yeah, yeah. Pat 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 Patricio, let's not come onto the stream on Wednesday and Real Madrid have gotten packed up. Cop stomped Please. and menstruated, bro. Let's not let that happen, bro. Please. Patrick and Drayton will rise. Yeah, who's who's asking me a question? 
Oh, uh, me. I got a question. So if yeah. it, so in the second like if it would have came down to penalties, do you think it would? Do you think you would win? Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll yeah. Uh, extra time. Well, as yeah. long as we take it to extra time, we'll win. It's not well, even the penalties. Say, as long as we take it to extra it, time. Yeah. Well, I was gonna say you better hope and pray that it comes down to it, because it's not gonna be a very good game. Yeah. For you guys. Uh, yeah. Can you can you bring up rank talks no, boss no, comment? No, 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 yeah, that, that's no, crazy, man. No, no, that's no, no, yeah. Under, under, under. No man. <laughs> in normal time, in normal time, oh it's going to be different. Gaflock, you know, Gaflock, Gaflock, you know that's your red. Specifically because you, Gaflock, that's your red. Um, <laughs> Is he really black? Who says I'm looking at? Who says I was looking at? Come on, Gaflock. Wait, it, wait um, is Gaflock really black? Because he's laughing too much at those uh, jokes, man. I'm just well, saying. You know, oh, man, Barry, man. Barry, Barry, Gaflock is is from a, a jungle. So. Yeah, but H, What's, yeah, but H is, I think, I think the, you know. Biggest from card, I think, for Real Madrid would be Rodrigo at the at the end. I think Rodrigo could say what's up. So, you say, say that, Robert. so what about Jude? So, you say that Jude isn't going to be a deciding factor? I mean, Jude may or may not because he has been uh, not been you know, as consequential for the past few games. And Vinny, he, he's always consequential when it comes to GA. But if they lock him down, you know, then who's going to say what's up? But Rodrigo, I think, is a tricky one because he's in the box, he's on the left, he's on the right, he gives GAs, he's involved in chance creation. So Rodrigo is actually really hard to stop. He keeps doing something or the other, something else. He's always offering something more. But, but my thing is that how do you stop, stop City? From a defensive point of view, the issue that City always find chances and cost through Real so easily. What? Because we, we know Real can, can, can score in City. It is the amounts of goals that City are able to shift against Real Madrid because considering three goals at home is crazy. In the yeah, first, like, it's it, crazy. The biggest nightmare would be the opposite of what happened at the Bonneval. That we take care of De Bruyne, we take care of Foden, we take care of Walker, we take care of Rodri, we take care of everyone. And then Haaland scores a three-piece. Oh my God. And make up. And makes up for uh, his uh, bombing at the Bernabeu. That would be the, I think, the biggest nightmare. And all he has to do is like score headers off of corners, or take a penalty or something, and get a three piece. He can do that. That's completely plausible. You know. You know. So that that's the issue. So we have to we have to be physical against him as well as uh, smart and technical against the other players. So it's. As I said, it's in normal time, winning against Man City at the Etihad is going to be really difficult because they don't lose at the Etihad, you know, often in normal time. But as long as we take it to extra time, I'm going to bank on us going through. Um, what's it called? Um, Samasi. Oh, my God. Bayern's last hope. Are you... Bayern... Oh wait, so that's it. Are you going to deny us the ultimate... Um, gonna stream yes you're gonna know. why i don't hh we are down bad we are in an injury crisis we have no winger left hold up the orange ban on a crazy unbeaten run of home games in the ucl it doesn't matter if you don't have uh the players fit hh command is injured Ganapri is injured. Zan is not fit. We, our attack is shambles, okay? I don't know who's going to start on the wing. The only good thing is that our midfield is going to be more stable because Pavlovich is back. Thank God for that. Because the Lima, Goretzka, terrorism pivot was just, just awful. So... Uh, we have Musiala and Inshallah. You should, that's it. Musiala and Inshallah. That's all we have to put that Musiala and Sane can create something and that we hit, hit them at the transition or that we win it. This shit that's all. I have just hope that's it. Davis is. Uh, Davis so, wait, wait, so you said Arsenal got a knockout to Bayern. So you said Arsenal yeah. beat him by the Alliance. Yes. Hey, Jage. This is not a team. Bayern is not a function team. 
hasn't been since Tuchel is the manager. So what can I say? I just want the season to end. I just want uh, Real, uh, Real Madrid to knock out City. That's all I have left for the season. That's all I have left. Um, uh, AJ, can I see it? Actually, no, no, no. Let me come to 87. So 87. At, let's see Dortmund. Um, I don't know where to go with this. I'm I'm a bit buckled because obviously I'm gonna I'm gonna drop my previews, you know, um, Monday nights. But who has the adv- who has the advantage here? Hmm. Atletico or Dortmund? I think it's, it's I think it's fifty fifty to be honest, because Dortmund's at home, and um, I, I think it's gonna be a tight one. Um, it's it's such a tough game to call because so I mean but if you because the reason why I don't know because because that's what Atletico are winning. They're up one goal, but Dortmund have a very good record at home. And let's say I have not been the kind of defensive team that they once were. And Dortmund finished that game very strongly. So I don't really know where to go with it. So if you if you had to choose a team you lean towards, do you lean towards Dortmund's home ability or Atleti having that one goal advantage that they can build upon? Mm. It's, it's difficult because... I'm not really sure as well. Um, I have a feeling what could have very well happened is Dorman start off strong, but then Atleti grows into the game and the Atleti, you know, uh, gets a goal. And then that, because I just don't trust Dorman to keep a clean sheet. I just don't. I think Atleti is going to score at least one. And so for that reason, I'm going to have Atleti to edge us through. Maybe like a 2 2 draw, I'd say. So, oh, he's sending Atleti to go, th- go through. Yeah. Okay. So, and briefly, so your your boy's boss, then come to your case, your boy's boss, do you think he'll. Do the job and get out the great Mbappe. Knock, knock, knock him out. Uh, we should be able to finish the job. Uh, the only thing I'm a bit concerned with is our midfield. Our midfield is um, uh, because obviously Christensen is suspended, and uh, Roberto is also suspended. So we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to either start for me Lopez or Pedri. I'm hoping that Pedri starts uh, because I think he was rested over the weekend. Um, but yeah, I mean, and then obviously for PSG, Hakimi's gonna be back. So Hakimi could be. Uh, uh, could help PSG attacking wise because I feel like he's a lot better attacking wise. But yeah, I mean Barca should be able to finish the job. I would expect. Um, so, and, so, so rolling with with Barca over Mbappe FC. Yeah, I think so. Uh, we should be able to finish it. Yeah, see, thank you. That's I, I, I like the confidence, man. Um, AK, what do you want? Um, so score predictions, right? Yeah. Um, Mbappe FC three, Barcelona one. Stop it. PSG will beat him past the three. FC three. Barcelona. No, okay, okay, hold up. M- do you hold up? Hold up. Do you honestly believe that or you just say yes. that? Yes. Mbappe FC three. Barcelona one. Actually, that's completely possible. You know it testing a disaster class income trust me, this guy. Mbappe FC three, Barcelona one. That's my first prediction. Okay. Madrid one, City two. Second prediction. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Arsenal two, Bayern Munich nil. That's my third so... prediction. Whoa. 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 Whoa, where's R. Kelly, bro? Where is R. Kelly? Kells, but where is R. Kelly, man? Where the heck is R. Kelly? Oh my god. What? Arsenal FC two. Bayern zero. Do you know no, Bayern's like, record in the Allianz in the, in the UCL? Yes, and I know the last time Arsenal went, to, I know Arsenal beat them at the Allianz Arena previously too. When was that? Wait, who was the last? Yeah, when Bayern, when the hell when was that? Bayern, when Bayern won the UCL, it was 2013. They won the UCL. Oh yeah, Arsenal beat them two 0 years ago. This is like a decade. But that doesn't really yeah. count. That's the thing. Uh, Arsenal two, Bayern nil. No, Bayern don't have any wing outlets. Bayern don't have any of their wingers. You're playing Musiala. You're gonna play. Are they gonna, are they gonna play Mulo on the wing? No, oh play my Mula God. Are they gonna play Mulo on, on the wing? Uh, uh, you're telling me. Also, guys, do you, also guys, do you forget Harry Kane's record in the UCL? Come on now. Are, are we really gonna? I I generally think Arsenal gonna do something, bro. Arsenal two Bayern no, and then Atleti one Dortmund one. Solid, solid, solid. But why? What is it? You think Mbappe FC doesn't have a chance against Barcelona? I don't know what to tell you. It's a one goal, bro. It's like, and yeah. I don't know, bro. Uh, Bayern can, Arsenal can do something against Bayern, bro. 
It's so bad right now, actually. There's no Davies. So bad. No Davies either, yeah. Wait, I'm I still mean, gonna get what this guy just said. 2 2 uh, 0. I mean, I could see our. Eric Dyer lives. But I say you one. Know what? I'll, make it a bit, I'll make it a bit better. 2 1 Arsenal. There. H-H- no, no, you said 2 0 to begin H-H- with. H-H- H-H- I've seen Bayern the whole season. Samasi, so, you're a reverse psychology H-H- merchant. So I'm not taking anything you take seriously. Smashy, I'm not taking anything so you take bad, seriously. So what's, what's your last, um, what's it called, AK, your, your last prediction? Atleti 1, Dortmund 1. Why? Yeah. Why? Yeah, I just think Dortmund are going to try to score. They're going to get one. But then Atleti are going to stink it out. It's going to end like a tame 1-1 one, one draw. Oh, I, th- I, th- I, th- I thought my computer... Done. So quiet. Well, I can't believe this. I can't how it ends for Mbappe, man. You, I, I, I just I'm said Mbappe FC Mbappe. gets Mbappe FC goes through. What do you AK, mean? AK, that's a part of crap. Mbappe FC will go through. AK, AK, I dare Pietro to beat Barca three one. I did. I did it, didn't it, to, to beat them three. Why, boss? Boss, Ricardo. Ricardo, tell me if the things I say are true or not. Barcelona's home record isn't is away. Barcelona better away I mean, than at he, home. He's not lying because Barcelona's record at home is like bad. Yeah, so yeah zombies, go, zombies, go, zombies, and Ricardo. Tell no, me if the things I say are true or false. He's not lying. He's not lying. He's really okay, not, number not, two. Number two. Christian, like our like our away record is better than our home record. Yeah, and but number two, Christians, Christiansen is out. Christensen is out, and I think one other guy is out. So they have to play Roberto, Gundogan, and Pedri in midfield. But then you gotta also think about it again. Yeah, gonna play in the field. Barca hasn't really played a home game this entire in about. Yeah, we're not playing at home. We're actually playing at another stadium. Like home. Yeah. Can I go this quickly? please talk, man. This guy's a guy. First of all, I'm not. I'm not really going to believe anything in these games because I I cannot call all of them. But you see. The reverse jinxing that is going in here. Gone are the days. Gone are the days when this guy was this confident. I want to get it. I want to buy him. I wanted to buy him. I wanted, <laughs> I lost it. I wanted to buy him. Oh, yeah. Context. This was 2019, 2020. Oh, damn. HH, you're an idiot. And I think Bayern Munich will be slightly fearful because. We've seen teams get that ass at the Allianz. <laughs> <laughs> Me too rude. Me be crazy. We've seen teams get that ass at the Allianz. Um, I want to buy Munich. I want to buy Munich because as good as buying Munich and everything, they've got a soft on the belly now. I am praying that Jerome Boateng is in the sense of that of the defense. And if that happens, what, what, what we're talking, Tammy Abraham, Brace. <laughs> All right, God, look, shut, shut that thing right down. God, look, shut that thing right, right down. God, look, shut that thing right down. Three <laughs> God, look, shut. God, look, burn that receipt right now. Hey, God, I need to burn that so receipt. You are, so God, you look, I swear to you, God, look, you will never be allowed. I don't care whether you're black or you're Nigerian. You will never be allowed back if you don't burn the receipt. God, look, you will burn and remove any side you have for that receipt you have. God, look, burn the receipt. Wait, so Streets, you, not... you did not hear that crap. Streets, you did not hear that crap. So, 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 Crever 18. Crever 18. I don't care. Crever 18. So, Hold on. I'm my yellow. Crever 18. That's a yellow. Probability, that's a yellow. Not only did you Jack, see... that's a yellow. Jack, that's a yellow. Jack, that's a yellow. Jack, that's a yellow. Big McLovin. That's a yellow. Big McLovin, that's a yellow. Big McLovin, that's a yellow. No, no, no. no, no. Gatlock, Gatlock. Burn that thing right now. Gatlock, Gatlock, burn it. Gatlock, burn it. No, 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 no. Gatlock, burn that thing right now. No, 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 God, look, well, never, so God, look, never play that ever again. And not H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-
Kami was gonna turn a boy thing into a girl. Amish, that's the yellow. So. That's the yellow. I mean, that's the yellow. I mean, that's the yellow. I said, no, 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 Yes. Every Champions League game that year. This is, I was telling this guy, that's a funny thing. Because back then, there wasn't any, the hangout wasn't like free for everybody. From the chat, we were telling this guy, bro, do you know what Bayern has done in the champ? This is after they beat Tottenham 7 2. And this after, period, after, after they got Bayern Munich in the draw, was like, yeah, I want to Bayern Munich. I was like, this guy, <laughs> oh my God. he's the same guy that, and this was, guess who Chelsea's manager was back then? Lampard. It's, it's this guy was fucking like... <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah? Wait, what? what? You? It's it. <laughs> can, we, can, we, can, we, can we please get back to 2024? So guys, here's here's the thing right now. Man City, guys, how do we stop Pep? No, 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 no. Let's, let's, let's get to the real stuff right now. How do you guys, how do, how do we stop Thanos? Because guys, if this guy does box about QCLs, uh, I'll be honest, H. I mean, no, 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 best... because, because guys, let's. Because, no, so let, I'm, I'm sorry. Look, I don't care. I'm, I'm moving ahead. Screw me. City, bro. Dortmund in, in BD City I'll, in a I'll final. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. City now, with all these to my Barca fans, City would run Barca ragged. Hmm. From a tactical, stylistic point of view, that is perfect for City. That's what you mean. Atleti is the best case scenario, but no, it's but I needed the old school at Atleti. The uh, HH, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, bro. We know City's record in the UCL against English teams. Yeah, we know it. this it's team's good. record AK, this season. AK, stop it. What do you mean? AK, stop Arsenal it. have not lost the city this AK, season. So, AK, so tell me that Arsenal going to be in a UCL final. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 AK, no, hold on, AK, you just said Arsenal beats, no, AK, don't, don't laugh, there's not nothing Arsenal... funny, no, 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 hold okay, on, AK, okay, okay, fine. No, 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 there's I'm nothing not funny here, I'm you not just said it. they're going to beat Bayern, you just said look at City's record against English teams, ergo equals empty squared, Einstein and Plato, Socrates, Arsenal going to be in the UCL final according to you. Correct. Shout, shout out to Matthew Python, shout out to Matthew Why not, why not, if, tell if... me a reason as to why City can't be, City will be Arsenal. Over two legs. It's, Considering it's City's record it's against it's English teams, UCL, 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 Thanos tax, That's treble the tax. Pressure. The pressure. Also, you can actually say, you can actually say Man City have more UCL heritage than Arsenal now. Oh my God! No, forgot about Arsenal. Forgot about these bumps. It's Atleti, Real, or nothing. H H. If Real uh, aren't stopping them. We have to pray for Atleti. Uh, then wait, wait, then hold on, wait. Guys, Yasin, this is crazy. Shout out to Yasin, everybody. This is crazy. Uh, Mbappe is scoring at least two Ds versus Terry Stripper. Testing <laughs> 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 is bad, man. Testing is a bench warmer for Germany for a reason. He's a bench warmer. Shout out to Terry. Can I take some? Um... No, no, for me, okay, I'll be real with you. Barca, what I saw in that first leg, unless PSG drastically change, bro, I'll, I'll Barca, this, Barca, I'll, 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 they're I'll just the better team. Okay, Ricardo, what do you want? If we, go to, the final, if we go to the final against Pep and we lose, I, I promise you, Pep is going to leave England faster. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you think Pep can go to the final <laughs> against Barcelona and think he can just beat us and think he's going to be okay in Catalonia? <laughs> no, oh, yeah. If he comes back to Catalonia, oh man, it's going to be scary hours. It's going to be he's scary. So either two things, either two things. Either he sells Barcelona are European champions or he wins, which is probably the likelier outcome. And he gets out a lot sooner and he comes back home. 
Oh, also, guys, can I let us go? If, if, if Atleti make the mistake of going to Yusuf, I know that's going to be three three losses in a Yusuf <laughs> Oh my God. Uh, let's, not, let's not do similar. Oh, no, 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 Elijah, let's. Happens, Elijah, let's. It's, it's, happens, no, happens. Elijah, it's called reality. Life life sucks. So, HH, you're saying if we out <laughs> don't beat City, the best chance of City not doing the treble is Axel Di Sassi? Oh my yeah. god. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> because, because, because you know United ain't doing nothing. No, no, guys, I'll be real. The best chance of Pep not because let's be real. We we won against them. We won them game against them twice. Two two and I think three three. Four, so, four. So, you're telling me four, that four. Arsenal can't beat City even though they beat them once this season. But UCL, you, UCL, 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 and four. Our backs are against the wall. Backs against the wall, tax. Backs against the wall, tax. Backs against the wall, tax. Your backs have been against the wall against Burnley and Sheffield and okay, Enzo no, no, Fernandez. No, no, okay, guys, control the game no, no, against them. guys. Is Pep doing a back to back trouble? Talk to me. Yes. No, no. I see yeah. it. I see it. No. I see it. Yeah. No. No. You see, that's why no, I'm so not. happy that they. I'm so happy that they. Hold up. No, no, hold up. That's why I'm so happy that the NBA playoffs are starting right at the moment, right now. Yes, they're starting one. Yes. Because yeah. I think yeah. I need the NBA just to cleanse my soul of if Pep does his back to back trouble. Well, so, shout out, magic, let's go, baby. Wagner, let's go. Let's, let's, let's get this dub. At least you get to watch the playoffs. My team just finished 21 and 61. So, you oh, know, Lord. it's. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, 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 hold on. Who, who's your team? The Hornets. So, oh, Hornets. wait, hold on. Don't you live in Denver? Denver Nuggets? I'm not a Nuggets fan. Even if I, I worked, I, I worked for KSE. I know who the Cronkies are, but I'm not a Nuggets fan. I'm just not. Just, just no, 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 no. But my but thing is, is like. That's. Seat. Basically, that's why I'm actually because let's say Pep does the back to back treble, there'll be a short moment of mourning and then it's Euros and Copa Co- Co- America. So basically, at least Euros and Copa America can, can basically cleanse that whole thing, though. So, are we not backing Haji Wright and Coventry? We're not, we're not backing Haji Wright. Oh and my Haji. god, the lad. It's it. Can I ask you a question? Can I say something? Else? Wait, wait, no, no, Elijah, let Haji Wright save his. His talents for dunking on Messi this summer in Miami, though that's one thing. Um, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Um, um what was this guy? What's this guy? Um, I'll come to you, Smashy Nomad. Where you want, Nomad? Yeah, if uh, if Man City wins the Champions League, right, and wins the league, what which doctor are you or which shaman are you going to contact for the FA Cup? Um, it remember I've, money I've, I've, I've run out of them. I'll just no matter. I'll do something that I can't reveal on on YouTube. Hh, money may said you have to say football. Remember that. No yeah, matter. No, I, I will do. I will. Is, there is, no matter. There's something I will do, but I can't reveal it on. It on, is you have to sacrifice. YouTube. You have to sacrifice exotic animals. Uh, can you can you bring up Stu can MC's comment, please? Can you bring up Stu MC's comment, please? <laughs> Stu, yes. I uh, yeah. I am yeah yeah. Or no. Either either Fiji or Naso, either 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 Fiji or or, or Naso doesn't matter. Places. So, 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 what do you want? You know, we are so down bad. Relying on Chelsea, who are eleventh, and Man United, who are bounced. Well, what tenth actually? No, we well, no, we're ninth. So get it right, please. Thank you. Wow. Oh, you want day one? Yeah, we're ninth. Yeah, we're trying to bounce. To stop Pep from a travel. Um, so you go until so Rachel's so ass no longer right becomes fat. I'm not um, sacrificing that man. I'm sorry. I'm a fat ass merchant. Wait, sorry. Wait, wait, are we so Samasi about- continue. Samasi so continue. What did you just say? Samasi. 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 Continue. Samasi. Samasi. Please continue. Samasi. Please continue. Samasi. Please continue. Samasi. Please continue. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> now, you know who's, who's, I need to, so who's getting this? this, this who's who's, who's getting this red? Who's getting this red? Someone is getting this red. Someone is getting this red. No, 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 that was not me. I don't have a disciplinary record. Okay, Samasi, what do you want to say? Okay, I'll go away with it. I think that we need to shut down. The uh, uh, anti pep club because it it isn't working. HH, he's going back to back troubles. When he's gonna, uh, depending on you and Nomad, don't do that. 
We're depending on you and Nomad. Just Five do your job. Just not enough. Adaj, that's the wrong order, by the way. But not keep keep cooking, though. Yeah. Smasi, so what are you saying? Yes. You shit. So what's the correct? Smasi, Smasi, keep going. So what's you saying, Smasi? I am not doing nothing. We all have a slim chance in the <laughs> final. We have to rely on Atleti or Barcelona to win. Atleti. Oh, I'm not supposed to be FA Cup. <laughs> Ricardo, relax. You're not going to the final. <laughs> so it goes to the FA Cup. In the FA Cup, we have Chelsea, who are 10th, and fucking Man United again. Those, these bombs lost uh, Tron to uh, Bournemouth and have lost the last season final. So no, it's over, HH. There's like a ninety percent chance they're winning back. They're making back to back travels. Oh, oh, okay, wait, hold on. Um, so zombie. bad, right? zombies. Zombies, so why saying zombies? Zombies. Look, our honestly, our only two hopes right now at this moment, the way I see it, and this is Real Madrid. We already know is is the first one, so it all depends on what they do Tuesday. The second oh, one. It so you so say, so say it depends what Real Madrid do. It depends. That, yeah. Say do, say do, say do. That's just disgusting. Nomad, please. I'm begging you, Nomad, please. Wow. Well, well, anyway, no, nomad, 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 if you, nomad, if, no matter if he gets pens, <laughs> if he gets menstruated, that will be be, be, be played all through the the stream. It so is, be warned. It is, I don't. I don't. And, 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 and I, I, I must remix it. It is. I don't. Oh, 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 oh. Zombies land. Zombies go. Zombies. Zombies land. But now also too. You know, I think another. I think the second team, you know, that could stand a chance, and I know it will be a challenge for them. It could be Athletic. It could be them, but and see, this is the thing. Athletic in twenty twenty four. Lord, the defense is bad, man. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Nothing. But you know, or, see, this, or see, this or this it could be thing. the guy in my. Ear. Wait, dude. Wait, dude. Do better, man. All right, all right. See, this, see, this, see, this, see, this, see, this, <laughs> see, this is the problem, though, about this draw. Like, I wish we would have had this in the final. Because think about it. Whoever goes, whoever wins this, this is this is over. It's over with. They're the winners of the Champions League. So that's why, you know, I hope, you know, we'll actually dethrone de Pep. So that's the reason. Yeah, we have to kill the monster we created. Yeah, or else we're gonna we, have to yeah, we, on the we created a monster that's so bad, it's, it's beyond panic. Okay, now, or you have to depend on the guy in my AV. Yeah. Oh, wait, we're gonna <laughs> watch that AV. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yo! Hey, shout, shout out to, shout to Infadi, you know man. Shout guys, to Infadi. I'm, guys, I'm gonna have some, some Ben and Jerry's ice cream, man. Guys, I'll yes. remember, Monday, oh, yeah. members what hangout, time? Tuesday, oh, real thingy. Monday, members time? hangout, one love, one love, one oh, love, yeah. one love. I love it.